is. Why was it like that? Why was it, <laughs> when, when, like, when that? Was it like that? Ten beefs, ten songs in two days. Bro, I'm, be, I'm, I'm being dramatic, but like, you know what, what I do mean? No. Bro, then, why am I waiting two weeks to hear your response? That's to him? what it used to be. What? No. It used to be months. No. Okay. This. Sh- Let's get this show on the road. Yeah, podcast lady. Boom. Podcast lady. Is that me? You know, oh, I, man, I have so much to tell you guys, man. I, I got so much. Get off go. your phone, Shans. I'm looking at this man give himself a lineup. <laughs> <laughs> with, with foundation. Is that what? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Pay attention. This is ADHD at work. All right. Right. Mm-hmm. Everyone, welcome to the season five episode. Oh, my God. Someone's calling my phone. It's Tresor. Wow. Perfect wow. timing. Okay. <laughs> Who would have thunked? Hi, you read Zoe during the Relentless Diaries podcast. Oh, wait, hold on, wait, you're not connected. Why isn't he connected? Oh, here, hold on. Okay, go ahead. Can you hear me? Hello? Oh, hey. there you are. Call the number nine, you've reached the sexy hotline. Let us know how <laughs> hey, you're feeling live. sexy today. We live. <laughs> hey, you know, um, I'm just calling from L.A., got to tap in with my homies back home. <laughs> oh, okay. right God. Now, right. Right. oh, brother. Oh, God. I'm this guy ready. stinks. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> Hey, I don't need that hateration, cuz okay, I'm out here trying to spread love and positivity. And y'all trying to kill my vibe. I don't that like that. Gypsy hustle, what bro. accent is that? That's the LA tray. <laughs> what do you mean? This is the LA accent, honey. This sounds very, I don't know. It sounds not LA. It sounds like kind of southern weird. It sounds like a cowboy that just went to LA last week. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How y'all trying to tell me okay. what the hell okay. is? Right. Tresor, we can't have you doing this the whole episode. I hope, I hope or at least for the I hope segment. the weather's good, though, Tresor. Is it raining again? I'm not wishing that. Well, it, it was raining for the first two days, but it's cool now. Oh. Flood out. <laughs> Flood Finally. Out. Anyways, you called just in time. We had technical difficulties, but you called just in time um, because we were literally just doing the intro and welcoming everyone to season four. Four. Five. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to wear my head. Five. No. Season five. Yes. Season five, episode 14 <laughs> yes. of the Relentless Diaries podcast. I'm your main host, Zoe. Here with Shans. Clyde. Mucho. And Tresor is on the phone because Tresor decided to be L.A. Trey for the week. So We're on our Will oh, Smith, though. Shans. We're on our Fresh Prince. Yeah. You know, the Fresh well, Prince episode. Because that was the number is that Shans he wore. Call it, is oh Shans God. calling in from London? Oh, or no, Nick. Here. Where you should be. Oh, Thank you. You know, we never, we never really know with you. <laughs> What's that? Okay. Shans is here. Right. She's sitting here in your seat where you should be, but you decided to be LA Trade today. Someone actually DM'd me because I posted that I was still in LA and they're like, bro, you're missing the pod again. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Sometimes sometimes I have to live sometimes my job. own life. Yeah. Wait, are you just there for for vibes? Uh little little bit of work, a little bit of fun. Okay. A little bit of work, a little bit of fun. This man sounds like a freaking... I'm back soon. I'm back soon, though, but um, I don't really like announcing when I'm back. I like to fly under the radar when I get back home for a few days, you know? Okay. okay. All right, yeah. Tresor. But anyways, so Tresor, you called perfect timing because we have a jam-packed episode, and I know you wanted to be very heavily involved in me talking about my Jamaica story. Um... <laughs> So what I will say is, so I went to Jamaica for everyone who, I don't know, doesn't follow me or doesn't know what I do in my personal time. But I was in Jamaica for last week, which was during Carnival, right? So I was in King... Tresor, fix your background. Like, are you... Like, what is wind? that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, t- I'll tell the planes to mute. What am I supposed <laughs> what? to tell? <laughs> like, like, what are you doing? It's not so you spit tell the planes to mute. In, I'm walking in... <laughs> I'm walking in the mall. Maybe when I get in, it'll be less loud. Okay. I don't know what you want me to do right now. Okay, anyways, so. Mute. Yeah, mute while you're not talking. I was in Jamaica last week during Carnival, right? There was a lot of other people in yeah. the same. So this is my first time doing. No, I, first of all, I didn't even do Carnival. I didn't jump. Did you just go for vibes? Or? I literally just went for vibes. Uh, I went okay. because I had extra vacation time, and I knew it was during Carnival, and my family was like, yeah, you can come stay with us. So I was like, yeah, why not? Like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm going for vibes. I'm going for parties. Next year, I think I'm going to actually jump. Yay. We'll see. I'm yeah. Coming, yeah. Yeah. Come. I actually want to do it. Next year, I think I'm actually going to jump. But I didn't play mass. I didn't jump this year. I just let, I went to feel the scene out, see who's all out there, you know, what like the, the schedule is like. So I got my vibe. I'm good. They were out there. Yeah. My homegirl, Ashley, was with me. I also went with my friend, Bree. But Ashley was like born and raised in Jamaica. So she was good to have for like my first carnival experience because mm. she's a very good 
local. And she crowned me as now local. Okay. So oh. now... <laughs> Okay. So now, Yadzo. Yeah, okay. Yadzo okay. here. But anyways, okay. So my trip was good. Went to Kingston, spent the first four days there. Surprisingly, a lot of people out there recognized me. Really? From, like from the podcast? Yeah, yeah, That's cool. yeah. yeah. A lot of people recognized me. It was very weird. And it's fun. And I'm not lying. Like, Ashley has proof. Bree, like, they were recording yeah, it. You. Every time it happened, Jamaica they were like, people stuff. that yeah. live in Jamaica. So two people who lived in Jamaica recognized me. Wow. And then another guy, his oh god, it's gonna slip me. His I think his name was Joshua. He I think he's from British Columbia. Okay. He recognized me. Um, oh my god. There was I'm another right guy. British Columbia. Yeah. Okay. There's another guy named, I think his name was Brian or something. He also rec- but he recognized us from TikTok. He was like, I swear I just saw you on my feed like yesterday. Okay. Like, yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah we're man. we're global, y'all. I'm getting recognized in different countries. That's crazy. You guys need Jeez. to, you guys need to, I don't, th- I think like because we're so desensitized to like social media and like numbers and stuff, we don't realize a million people seeing something is a lot of f- people. Yeah. No, you're right. Like, you're right. You're going to be, I was in LA when I was on um, For Y'all's podcast. Mm-hmm. And I'm out in LA, it's like, weren't you just on like Trey and Jay's like mm. podcast? Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> like yeah. it's, it's weird but i think yeah, when we no. see the numbers we don't, we don't realize that's a lot of people it's not just your homeboys watching it over and over again yeah. fam like yeah. these are real people i like got stopped in the street just going to go get pizza the other day yeah. so yeah. and like bro was like you know like i get turned up watching like you guys yeah. give me and like god is like instagram but he's like an artist like mm. lit like shout out jeff but just like oh wow like jeff. he was like litter than like us <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, just, yeah. So it's, it's cool to know where it goes so it's interesting know, to see people level, actually so. like recognize me in another country and like show love which i really appreciate mm-hmm. have you so been to that, la yet no i haven't been to la yet that's what oh, i mean no i have been to LA. i went last year i don't really think anyone really recognized me out there not nope. that i remember but jamaica definitely yeah, quite a few people did i would say about like eight or ten people came up to wow. me that's yeah lit. so your thing and yeah i went to kingston it was great i personally like i don't i don't love soka we all know that but you know i i can boo. do but have a boo <laughs> Okay, no, yeah, there we go. Yeah. I don't board, love Soka. Yeah, we have a new board, guys. We're leveling up. I don't love Soka, but I will deal with it for the sake of Soka ness and yeah, Carnival. Yeah. Right. I'm a dance hall girl through and through. Love dance hall. I want a dance hall party. I want a dagger. I want. I don't want a dagger. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> I also don't want to be daggered. I don't really like daggering, but I like to witness the fuckery. I'm not gonna lie to you. Right, I right. love that shit. I live mm-hmm. for it. Yeah. So you know, like I said, I was visiting my family. Everything was cool. The first party we went to was an all-white party. It's mm. called Daybreak. It was a very... Li- I think it's a more of an American party that they bring to from Carnival. Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's from Miami. But it was a... Li- party was lit, right? And it was a really good party. It was all white. I wore orange. Because I... <laughs> Yo. That's anti-Jamaican. I believe That's that... That's such main character. <laughs> <laughs> that is, like, I, that is an anti-Jamaican <laughs> sentiment. I genuinely believe that all-white parties should be banned. Why are we wearing all white in this That's, function? That is very right. That's, That's crazy. anti-Jamaican. I That's I, crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, I might be anti-Jamaican because I don't... Why are we doing this? Because why not? Because my thing is, by the end of the party, we all look dirty. Your makeup's here. Someone yeah, spilled facts. cranberry juice here. Yeah. You stepped in something here. Like, bro, why are we doing that's this? That's why I have a step out fresh and walk like this the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure nobody bump into you. What do you mean? No, I don't like all white parties. So... And the funny part is, I bought an all white fit, but I was like, "Man, this dress so is." You wear the brightest. Color. I did, but that dress was fire though. It was. If anyone it saw, I wore a good, nice crochet good. orange dress. It was cute. It was backless. I'm like, "Bro, I'm wearing this. This is cute." You'd wear white to your bridesmaid's wedding. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would not do that. I, only thing, only time I think I'd be comfortable wearing all white is when I get married. But I generally just, I just don't like it. Like, I just don't see the point. Val- valid points. To yeah. Like it's just, just yeah, yeah. and to me, that. girls I saw, yeah, guys with makeup stains on their, Ooh, like, yeah, their shoulder from hugging time. girls. Yeah. And then girls were spilling Hennessy. Like, it's like, ugh, mm. man. No, it's not cute. Valid. Anyways, I'm going to tell a story. So, went to the daybreak party. Uh, so, it's cool. It was outside, but there was a section that was, like, obviously for people who bought booths. And it was cooled. Like, basically oh, AC, AC outside. Yeah, yeah. That was cool. Bro. That we were in there, and I'll explain how that changed the game for me. Because Jamaica was hot. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm dirty, dark as hell. Dutty. Like my, if I can show you guys my tan lines, I'm not going to because it's my boobs. But <laughs> like my boobs are white compared right, to the right. rest of my body. I'm tanned yeah, right Jamaica now. Jamaica is hot like, during that time. Hot during Easter. Oh my white. god. Jamaica was hot. I was bunning up. 
Anyways, and daybreak, they had food, there was drinks, whatever, whatever. So my homegirl, asked, she was like, oh, yo, I know one of my homies. He's a DJ. He has a section. I said, perfect, because we, I, yo, I'm not lasting out here. Like, <laughs> girls were in the bathroom washing their makeup off. Oh. Like, if they didn't have a section that was cool, yeah. they were washing their makeup off. That's I hear crazy. it. In the bathroom. Like, yes. we, went out, we went outside the cooled section just to get food. Mm -hmm. And, bro, we were like, no, I'm like, we have to go back. Like, I'm drenched. Like, I have to go back. Anyways, so she had a homie. He had a section with, or with his friends, whatever, whatever. He's like, yeah, yeah, come through. Perfect. So we go in this section. You know, it's nice, blah, blah, blah. Shake his hand. Nice to meet you, blah, blah, blah. There were a whole bunch of girls there. Kingston Uptown girls. If you know what that means, you know what that means. Love. They're like that the, 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 the like uppity, bougie, bougie okay. type they have like Jamaican. A weird, the weird. You, I don't know if you ever heard like an Uptown Jamaican accent. Yeah. It sounds like. A, Shelly Ann's. No, 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 Shelly Ann's. Shelly Ann's. No, so no. Rebecca. Oh, okay. Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Jody Ann. <laughs> yeah. That's how they talk. So the Uptown girls were in the section. You could just tell they're Uptown. You could just tell. Okay. So there was, I'm not going to say who it was. There was a celebrity in the section. Oh. Uh. And I didn't, I'm not going to say who it is because I just think it's a little sticky. But I'm a What does he do with this I story? was a fan of this person. Oh, Taking how I'm saying maybe was. Maybe someone. Mm. Like, I was a big supporter. What did this guy do that he lost like, the fan? I'm trying I'm, to think who it is. Like, when I saw him, because at first I didn't really notice, because I was, like, you know, talking to my friend, blah, blah, blah. And I look over, and my jaw dropped, because I've never seen him in real life before. Like, I had a Ooh. fan. And you know me. I don't have fangirl moments. I don't care for people like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I meet celebrities, it's oh, all really? cool. Not real. I've never had, like, an actual, like, ah, Oh, no, girl. like, no, I, I know you're a fan of this person. No, like, yeah. You were? Yes. Oh. Supported them. It was an artist? I'm not going to say what right. they do. Wait, Chance, you know who this person is? Yeah. Like, anyways. Oh, okay. So, oh my God, Tristar, oh, what? Yeah, oh, I remember this story. No. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. I remember you. the story. I never he comes. Why well, you remember the story? I didn't tell you. <laughs> you yes, yes, you did. Oh, maybe I did. Okay, anyways, don't say the name. Mute. Be quiet. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so, it's, I don't know. If I told you, I told you. If not, I'll tell you after we record. Yeah. So, I was excited. Yeah, I was you told like, him. Okay, thank you, Trisar. No, you did. Yeah, no, I'm totally. I was like, yeah, you told me. So I, I see him, and I'm like, oh, crap. You know, I'm like, damn. So I tell my homegirl, like, it's John Doe. And she's like, yeah, bitch, because she's from, she's like, yeah. She's like, yeah. And I'm like, I've never seen John Doe in real life. What the hell? Like, he's just here. And she was like, yeah, he's here. It's like, it's carnival. They come out all the time. So I'm like, damn. Like, y'all is here. Like, that's lit. Like, you know, like, he's sitting right here. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. And then I noticed, like, he's very arrogant. He's very arrogant, mm -hmm. and the way he was moving was like, you could tell, and which I realized later, all the girls were there Just with for, him. Uh, like, all the uptown girls who were like, all oh, uppity, uppity, and this and for that. For him or with him? For, with him. for him. him. Oh, they Taking came him saying for mm. him. Okay, okay. Okay. Mm. They were very much there. In, <laughs> yes, Tresor. In his defense, <laughs> if I was him, I, like, when you guys find out who it is, you'll be like, oh, okay, I get it. Uh, I don't know. If it's the person I'm thinking, hell no. Nah. Yeah, but these girls were there for him, right? You could tell he was, they were very much like a rotation sort of Scary. going on. Like one girl would come do something, the next girl would come do something, the next girl. And I was like, man, so had a brothel? brothel? Yeah. Man, it was, a brothel. It was posse, very bro. odd. And I was like, he okay. had an organization. <laughs> yes, literally an organization. Organized crime. And I was like, bro. okay, cool. So I'm like, whatever, you know, party was good, blah, blah, blah. And then. Uh, someone else is like, oh, we're good. Oh, the the friend that was like, oh, there's a yacht party you guys should go to after. And I'm like, oh my God, I love yacht. First of all, I love a boat. I don't she care. Does. I love oh, a boat yeah. party. She so I'm like, boat. okay, lit. Like, if we're going to a boat Quite party. Fond of the boats you it's are. lit. So we're cool. We're going to the boat party. Two twos. These, he's a part of the boat too because he's in the section. The boat's part of the organization. Yes, which we, <laughs> which, <laughs> which we, we really, we were pulling up. We were pulling up and we were like, this is not a, like a, we thought it was a spontaneous, like, oh, you know, like, because people, it happens all the time in Jamaica, like, oh, yo, we got yeah, a boat. Yeah, boat, like, boat. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Jamaica. Every, like, it's an island. If you got a boat, whatever. So we mm -hmm. thought it was a spontaneous, like, oh, y'all, let's pull up to the boat. And I'm like, okay, bet. Nah. Girls went to go change. And I said, mm -hmm. whoa, whoa. I said, okay, so you guys knew this was happening. Like, y'all are so organized in your organization. It's an itinerary. Yeah, it's yeah. an itinerary for y'all. So you're saying these are, like, his groupies? Be There's professional groupies. Pro yes, professional oh. groupies. This to what they're not. They're different. They're different. Level. They're not like. Oh no, <laughs> they're, like no they're like signed like, contract. Yeah, this is NDA. what you do. Yeah. Oh. This, is what you, this is the main one. This oh. is the one who recruit like their type level. Okay. Okay. Holy okay. Shit. Yeah. So when I'm there, so we're like, okay, cool, chilling. I'm like, okay, like these girls, like, 
they're all changing in the bathing suit. But, but mind you, we're still in our regular fits. Like, me and my homegirls are still in our regular fits. They're changing in the bathing suit, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like... You're still in orange. Okay, I'm still in orange. <laughs> I'm like, this is planned. Like, y'all knew we were coming on this boat. Like, it wasn't like a sporadic, like, oh, it's cool, whatever. whatever. Nah, they knew. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. So we're chilling, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, let me go to the front of the boat because I don't want to be... I, I don't yeah, even want to know, know about that lifestyle. That ain't me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I go to the front of the boat, and, like the, and my thing is like, yo, it's a free boat. Like I'm on this bitch. Like I don't give a fuck. It's a, it's a free what? It's, it's a free boat. boat. It's a freak off. No, 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 it's a boat. We're not. That's we're cool, not that kind of party. There were some other cool people no on the boat. Don't get me wrong. There were some other no cool people on the boat. <laughs> Problem. Um, right. But like I just tried to like stay as far away from yeah. that situation as possible, and it was a pretty large size. Yacht or whatever. Mm-hmm. So we're chilling, blah blah blah, rotate, rotate, and you can see like you know the girls are starting to rotate. You know, sitting on the laps, doing this. Oh, and is that. that kind of party? Yeah, man. Both like, we're just, yeah, rotate, not, not nine to five. And I was like, okay. Then the food comes, and I'm like, bless. Like, yeah. this is my time to shine. Because they literally <laughs> had they had a fisherman boat come to the yard oh, with the fish and eyes. drop off bare Ooh. fish. So I'm giddy, Ooh. yo, man. Just there was uh, lobster, curry <laughs> shrimp, uh, escovitch, bammy, bread fruit, plantain. Oh, that's, uh, oh my! I was you. Psh, I was eating like I was mute. I'm telling you, I was mute. Broken up the lobster, mute in the corner, <laughs> and then homie disappears. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right, cool. Well, you know whatever. Was there like, like a bed there? I think like in the lower part, there's like you know beds, whatever. Homie disappears, and I'm like, cool. I'm bucking up my shrimp, same ways. <laughs> eating my lobster, same ways. <laughs> you need a lady. And at this point, I'm like, bro, like I'm ready to go. You're like, mad, you know what I'm saying? Mad and the thing is, it was funny. No, after I'm eating, I'm tired. So I'm like, bro, get me off this boat. Like, I'm done. Were you like in the middle? Like, were you yes. docked? No, we were in the middle of the ocean. Oh, my God. So at th- it's I funny because my homegirl was like, yo, if we're going on this, like, we're, we're going do- on this. We're stuck on it, yeah. And I'm like, nah, it's not going to be that long. It's going to be a quick, you know, ride around. Nah, bro. Mm. They had us on that bitch <laughs> minute yeah, i was like yeah. i'm gonna put my bro are we are we moving <laughs> like can you please bring us back i'll call the uber from the boat oh. like that. <laughs> i'm not joking that's how ready i'm like bro i'm like uh, i called the uber from the boat but i wouldn't like that Ugh. so homie's doing his thing whatever whatever he goes down with shorty you can tell she's number one is it getting dark yes after, oh, yeah, yes damn. it's dark it might be a free so he's down Shit. with shorty number one <laughs> i'm like i said i'm cracking my lobster whatever whatever obviously you know what they did she comes back up and then the man puts his hand in the shrimp. Oh! Like his whole hand. His hand in the shrimp. What do you oh. mean? Like he, like he went to eat. Oh! But my thing is like, bro, we know what you just did. And now yeah. you're going to come put the hand in the food? And you know, I can't control my yeah, face. Yeah, so yeah. So I gave him the dirtiest look. Take it. This man is very well known, okay? Mm-hmm. I give him yeah. the dirtiest look like, you nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, he's like, and he started, cuss, he started like, kind of cussing me, and I was like, okay. <laughs> he started cussing you. No, really? no, 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 he was like, what? Like, what? What's your problem? Oh, I, yeah. whoa, and I was like, whoa. okay. First of all, run a boat. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, fair <laughs> enough. And I'm going to dash you off yeah, that yeah, yeah. Titanic like, style. I'm like, I'm like, no beef. No beef. <laughs> like, it's, it's cool. Whatever, whatever. But I could tell I was like, ew. Like, you really just went, did that, and then put your hand in the shrimp that we're all eating from? Mm. Like, you're gross. No but brought up the scene. girl went up, wiped off her face, and Ugh. then he came up and then put his hand in your shrimp. What do you mean? No, the whole shrimp. It's like, I think it's like a bowl of it. No, it's like it's like a yeah, like a pan. It's, it's like, like a like thing. The, yeah. In so, but my thing is, if you just come from downstairs on the yacht and you're doing your do, and mm. you come back upstairs, obviously I know where your hands have been. Yeah. Then you're gonna go put your hands in the shrimp. What? No, yeah, it's a bad. You're image. nutty. That's nasty. Is yeah. that not nasty? Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Nasty. Okay, then. Yeah. So I was Tell like already turned off from then. Mm-hmm. Called the Uber from the boat. I'm like, bro, as soon as we get off this boat, the Uber is here. Like immediately. I didn't even say bye to nobody. Literally, <laughs> as soon as we docked, I was the first person off <laughs> that boat. Shoes off, same way. They put my shoes back on. Barefoot. <laughs> I was ready to get the fuck. I was so over it. But yeah. whatever. So that was, but anyways, it was a fun experience. Uh, I can no longer be a fan of that man because I just think he's so gross. Wow. Um, I will tell you who it is after. Right. It's a shame. You know what I mean? My thing is like I don't I don't mind meeting people. Mm-hmm. I'm a people person. You know what I'm right. saying? Whether you're a celebrity or not, it doesn't like I don't care. Like if you're yeah. a cool person, you're a cool person, which I'll get to later in this. There's more to tell. Yeah. But like cool people. he just wasn't a nice person. And I hate people who are not nice people. Yeah. You yeah. know, I like to meet people, whether you're a celebrity or not, and like I can tell a good story. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell a good story about him. Do you feel he's like, nasty? Yeah. Do you, do you feel, feel like, like he had a good like did he seem like a good person before? So I've never seen anything that negative out about him. Mm. I mean, maybe he might be a little spicy, but I didn't see him being like an 
asshole. Spicy like gay? No, spicy. I don't use spicy <laughs> and gay. I use spicy as in like an attitude. He might have a uh, little like, you know, yeah. a little some some because he's good at what he does. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't I wouldn't think I'm he was an about. asshole. But now that I've inter- I haven't interact with him really. Like we barely like I haven't really speak to him. Yeah, but you But now that I've seen the way and the way he was just ro- these young girls just rotating these girls and these my thing is like, where are your parents? Mm. Like, do your parents know you're on here shaking bum? On this man, and they, they probably really they probably said tell them to go. And then my thing is, they probably told them to go. They're all friends, and then one girl would be on him doing her thing. The next girl would come on, him, and I'm like, oh. are y'all like, are you guys friends? Like, is this okay? They, this they, is normal. Probably. Is, is their parents he, probably told him to go? It's gross. Is he a, hitting all of them? I'm sure he is. I'm yeah. sure he is. It's the way they were all moving. Yeah. You, I'm sure he was. But my thing is like, it's like a harem of things. He's not to me. He's not even remotely attractive enough. I would never do wow. that. Look but what that money maker. Me, hello. 100%. Yeah. And it's always, I'm saying, man, we'll get to it later when we talk about cash. And, then, so. and if they're rich. <laughs> <laughs> money make oh, shit. girls do crazy That's shit. Crazy. And I would never understand <laughs> because if these men were not rich, I'm telling you, you would not look his way. Right. That's exactly why they are. We don't know. Thank you for <laughs> Thanks, Shazor. Shazor's like chiming in Shazor's like, like the chiming peanut gallery. In three seconds. Pe- <laughs> but yeah, it's just like I don't understand. And like I've never been someone that's just moved by that at all. If you're rich and you're personable and you know, then that's a different story. But money has never moved me enough for a man to just it's completely bad vibes. just yeah. Just to just dog you out. Like, there's no way I'm going to see Shans making out, bubbling, bubbling up on this rich man. And then when she, she gets up for yeah, a drink, like, I'm yeah, going to yeah, come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, bu- like, what? Ew. Why? First of all, I'll never do that in public. <laughs> that too. Pucho, <laughs> <laughs> why I mean, he had a whole master class about why he shares and, you know. Oh, that's just... true. I just, yeah. it, to me, it's just, it's oh, not necessary. Brother. I think it's, I think it's kind of gross. And to me, it's like, I'm not trying to say they have low self-esteem, but no, you kind of have low self-esteem. I think it's like one of those because these are like off talking. These are rich girls, right? So they're getting married. They're not getting married for like, oh my god, I love him, mom. Mm. No, I love him. No, they're getting married for money. So they're they're, they're not married, in that man. They're not married. Well, well they're looking not, for what some. I mean, some of them do. You're right. Just some imagine, of them do. Just imagine what these these uptown girls. They're like rich women, right? They're or, rich. They're rich yeah. part of the island. Just yeah. Imagine how their fathers look like. Ugh. They're probably ugly. Yeah, rich. they're probably oh, some and big some of them were man. beautiful girls. I felt like, yeah. I felt yeah, like pulling the, a drink like, yo, you don't have to do dads. this. I felt like pulling a, you don't have to do this. And then she would yeah. tell you, she would tell you, get off me. Yeah, exactly. This you but it's like, she wanted to save them? 100% I think. <laughs> it's like, girl, you're way too pretty for this. You're way too pretty for this. I bet you any money, bro. Like that's I'm sure you're educated. Like, why do you feel the need to be... And I'm sure they're pulling threesomes, foursomes, fivesomes. Like, they all looked very well comfortable with this man. Yeah. I'm That's sure he'll probably do them all at the same time if the room was big Honestly, enough. until he put his hand in the shrimp, I'm not seeing a problem with the story. <laughs> what? <laughs> Before he put a hand in the shrimp. That was bad. I feel like... But but before the that, traveling brothel isn't a little bit of a... It's, it's literally a traveling bit. brothel. If they're all down, who cares? <laughs> I just think... I mean, you. they were all down. So, except for the us who were just... Showed oh up, like, yeah, it made it awkward for the rest. Oh, of for the, sure. Oh, we are hundred. Oh, y'all. because oh, you guys. We are hundred percent made it uncomfortable. I got you. We definitely, and you can tell they're like, who brought these bitches? Because they're not. Yeah, we definitely yeah. made it uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie, because because there was just on job. The, me and my homegirls were like, you know that picture of the uh, the girl sisters when they're like looking. That was literally yeah, us, because yeah. we were like, <laughs> ew, like we didn't know this is the type of time y'all were gonna be on. We thought it was like a you know last minute no, thing. Silly Everyone goofy co- mood, yeah. No, mm-hmm. no, no. No, not fun. No, merci. But anyways, okay, so that was Friday, Jeez, right? That's the first day. I know, right? That's Friday. the first day. That was Friday. Oh, that's the first day of the weekend. Saturday, okay. we went to. So Saturday, so carnival's on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Saturday, it's kind of calm. You've been drinking. Yeah. So people don't really go out to it on Saturday because no. everyone's because I was preparing for, for yeah, Sunday for Sunday. But we're not playing mass, so I'm like, yo, I'm trying to be outside. Mm. I want to dance all parties. So my home goes, all right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go. If you're from Jamaica, you've you been to Jamaica. Pasta? No, if you're from. <gasps> If you're from Jamaica, been to Jamaica, you know what I'm So she's like, yo, we're going to TJF. Oh, God. Because we're going to get drinks. There's one TJF in Jamaica. Yeah. It's and that's where worst. everyone goes to pre Everyone pre-drink. goes to pre. Like, thank and God it's Friday. Yes. Yeah, like the restaurant the rest- TJF. Oh, American bro. Yes. yes. <laughs> so the That's restaurant. where you go. To, okay. If you have, like, beef with someone, you go meet up to fight. Yeah. If you have a date, to go in there. Yeah. If you have a pre-drink, you go in there. After the party, you go there for drink more. Yeah. After carnival, you go at TJF. Yeah. yeah. Everyone cool. has TJ. It's like a thing there. There's that's, only one, wow. and it's known. And it's a middle and Kingston. I wasn't, like, my family's house is not that far from there so i was like okay. perfect so we went 
met up with them at TJIF. Everyone gets drinks. They have like different like drinks, and the drinks are strong. strong. Strong oh, my as hell. And you can get takeaways. Ooh. Yeah. Where they put in a takeaway container and you people just have it. They go out next pot, whatever, whatever. So we're cool. We're at TJF. The food shit. Don't order food. Just you only there for the drinks, child. I ordered food because I'm stupid, but whatever. Mm. Add food, had drinks. We're talking about blah, blah. So my girl's like, okay, let's go to AC Hotel, which is like oh. where people go to just, it's also like a spot people go to drink, especially if it's like a hot weekend. A, yeah. People will stay there. Okay. All right, cool. So it's me, my two homegirls. And my homegirl's friend, he was really cool. His name was Darren. Shout out Darren if he hears this. He was a really, really nice guy. So we're like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go to AC Hotel. AC Hotel? Yeah, AC Hotel. AC Hotel. So we're on our way to AC Hotel, blah, blah, blah. blah. We park up, whatever, whatever. We get out. We're walking in. And Darren goes, Russian. And I'm like, yeah. So Darren goes, Russian. And at Mm. me first, I'm like, Who's he talking to? It didn't even click to me that That's it's Russian, like the yeah. Russian. You guys right. don't know who Russian is. He's a big, big, big dance hall producer. Like yeah. big. Legendary. Like, like all vibes the top cartel. rhythms right now. He's he's on it. Yeah. Yeah. Vibes Cartel was on his live, I'm pretty sure, right? He created half of Vibes Cartel's like legendary beats yeah. from back so in the day. Russian yeah. is big. He was like straight jeans and fitted. Was that it? Yeah. Okay. I think so. He also did the what's it called? The payment plan rhythm with like judgment and Bicycle. big buddy, what's up? Bicycle, like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. So go go club yeah go go is also him so he's big like yeah. doesn't play so he's like yo he's like russian and he's like hailing him up and blah blah and i'm looking around, i'm like who are you talking and all, i don't i never seen russian in real life yeah. i just know him oh you never knew what he looked I like i know he looked like oh so you he, know he was he that's why they call him russian because he's white boy yeah he's a white boy <laughs> he's, this white boy. he's, he's white. like yo russian blah blah, blah. and russian telling him like yeah he's like yo girls this is the best dance hall producer in all jamaica he's like yo you guys gotta meet my friends yeah. this is blah blah he's like yeah this one's from or this one we say has jamaican roots blah, blah, blah. and i'm like okay you're doing a lot brother so whatever i shake his hand nice to meet you blah blah cool we go inside the hotel. He comes inside, whatever, whatever. He's really nice. He's yeah. very nice, you know. He was, like, talking to my me and my friends, whatever, whatever. Doing his thing, whatever, whatever. So he's like, you know, what are you guys doing tonight? Um, my friend was like, oh, we're, go- we're supposed to go to this club called Escape. She's like, oh, we're going to escape, blah, blah, blah. He's like, you need to escape those plans yeah. and come to <laughs> this party. And I'm like, bro, as long as it's a dance hall party, like, uh, I'm down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And look, it wasn't like, he wasn't on no weird shit either. Like, it wasn't like the no, situation. Cool. Yeah, They're He was very just Russian's nice, really polite. Nice. Like, you know, you want to come out come out it's gonna be lit over here whatever whatever so like okay bet so but i'm like bro like he went on his own like he's more like a yo y'all good meet you there so i'm like shit like mm. yo, you know someone ones. get his numbers mm-hmm. yeah, because like, you know, yo, we're we, outside. We outside. yeah i don't know how much i can pull it like in toronto i'm comfortable but kingston i don't know how much it's gonna yeah. a little finesse the door is gonna do <laughs> like they might humble me out there right so whatever so i'm like yo get his number figure it out whatever so my homegirl's like okay cool you know we'll keep in touch with him so we go and i'm like one thing about also i appreciate they didn't let homie not come in like the guy we were with, oh, yeah, they yeah. were still cool. So, yo, it's my brother. Like, yeah. And the thing is, in Toronto, if you see, if a guy might yeah, you out, like, yo, your niggas it. can't come. Yeah. yeah that's but all, he that's was all, like, yeah. nah, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's blessed. So, I'm like, okay, that's good. I like it. You know, it's comfortable. We're blessed. Mm-hmm. So, we go to the spot now. Spots pack up. We probably got there literally maybe like 10 minutes after them, not much longer. We go in the section now. Section is packed. Of course. Packed. And I'm like, oh, man. Me one of those nights. And who's in the section? Oh. Uh, your Kai, best friend. Oh. Aiden. All oh, them. Oh. This is how, for everyone who does, this is how I ended up on Aiden Ross's oh. street. Okay? God. This is how Wait. I ended. You're on Aiden Ross's street? Yes. What? This is like how. Like 4K <laughs> with the dap and everything. Wow. Hey, how's who it going? Kai! What? Yeah. Let me show <laughs> yo, yo, let me let me see this video. Tresor had Don't just let her lie. Zoe Zoe and her friend were the only two girls in the booth. Okay, that's okay, not okay. true. Well, Tr- okay, so I, I can't hear Tresor. You can't hear Tresor. Just repeat what he said. Tresor is saying, don't lie. Me and my friend were the only, only girls, girls in the booth. booth. That's not true. Okay, Tresor, I want you to <laughs> hear me say this. Two weeks ago, when uh Zoe was like, I'm pulling up to Jamaica and Kai was about to go too. She said, there's no way I'm going to link up with Kai. <laughs> there's no way we're going to... Didn't yeah, she we say that? Knew, bro, we already knew that that was going to happen. Zoe is a, a, a clout magnet. Now, that sounds <laughs> negative, but I don't mean in a negative way. What do you mean a I, clout magnet? I am not a clout <laughs> magnet. You are, you, you, no, not in terms of... You not you're seeking it out, but the clout, clout seeks you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there we go. Whatever yeah. you are... You just watch watch it. Watch it. No, 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 you guys, you guys can't even see this, bro. We'll, play, we'll make a clip Trey, of this. Edit, edit this girl's, this girl's, this girl's, I'll send it to you. Get off my face. Get out of my face. 
Anyways, like say a big so big friend, you know. For everyone who sent it to me and saw it, yes, I am aware that I am Aiden Ross Street. <laughs> So what happened, That's like I said, funny. but I did not go there with Aiden Ross yeah. or Kai. Fact. We literally Fact. went there on our own because Russian told us to pull up on some cool shit. Right. But of course, Russian obviously being famous, all our the famous energy. niggas are in town. Yeah. I, they're all in the same booth. No, we were not the only girls in the, in the booth. Club of the hundred thousand niggas. There were <laughs> bare girls in the booth, but they were all at the top. Like the way it was positioned, you had to step up into the booth. Yeah. Which club was it? Mecca. Oh. You were to step up into the booth, and then all the guys were kind of on the floor. Then there was the ch- all the girls were on top of the chairs. So where the stream is positioned, you can only see like obviously Aiden, Kai, all the streamers and their niggas. Mm-hmm. And then my thing is, we had to walk past them to get to the back where Russian and his people who invited us were. Right. But obviously, we're not just gonna walk past them, make nah, eye contact. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, it, looked, it, it looked weird. Yeah. So like the we step hug- up. Hug- yeah. yeah. So we step up and we're like. Okay, so at first I didn't know they were streaming, so I step up and whatever, and then Kai shakes my girl's hand, he shakes my hand, he likes to meet you, blah blah blah, and then Aiden Talk looks at us, job and Aiden puts his hand out, and I'm just like shakes his <laughs> hand. It was so awkward, and I'm like, okay, cool. So then I'm like standing there, like okay, like are we gonna move to like where homeboy is? And my girl's whisper, she's like, yo, she's like they're streaming. And I was like, what are you talking about? She was like, look up. They're streaming. Wait, do they have like a Yes, cam- they have like a, a guy is holding like a camera and just like streaming. Wow. So I, you can see That's me so look up. I and can't lie. I caught talking to the stream and just turn my head because I'm like, oh, hell <laughs> no. So I'm like, yo, we have to move. We have to. I'm not getting caught in no stream. Like, I, it's late. just weird. It's Too just late. weird. So whatever. That's, That's what so happens. So people are like, yo, your face in the stream. I'm like, bro, yes, my face is sour because... Why? Like, I don't want to be in the street. <laughs> like, I actually don't want to. I'm just here to have fun, yeah. witness dance all shit. I'm not here to be in the street. That's so good. How, like, how many people are live at, like, when uh, Kai streams? Like, 100 like, 100K, probably 100K. Yeah. Wow. Sometimes he hits a mill. Yeah. You are big. That's bigger than being on TV. You think so? Yes. yes. This is what I talk about the streamers all the time. Like, it's better than a late night television, yeah. like, interview or something like that. Yeah, For your man. role, though, like, if an artist is promoting something, you want to be on one of those guys' streams yeah. rather than TV. The kid, that's the kids' like, new thing, bro. That's bro. wild. So, that was awkward because I was like, because also, people who try to think, like, oh, I wasn't partying with Kai. I wasn't partying. It was not one of those. Yeah. Like, it was literally like we walked past them in the section and we kind of did our thing. Like, and literally, like, for people who don't believe, I was, it was me and my homegirls in the corner. Like, they, like we got a hookah, we had drinks, and we were just chilling. Like, it wasn't like one of those. Everything that I recorded, people go to my story because my sto- I posted Kai daggering the girl. On, that video had two thousand views. Wow! And like three hundred shares. People wow. were just people were just sharing that story what amongst the, the masses. I think I seen the same story on Twitter the next day. Was it your story? That was it mine? Did someone take it? Could have been yours. Maybe it probably is yours. Yeah. Maybe so. I don't know. But regardless, there's a lot of discourse about that. What? Oh, the, yeah, we'll get into that too. Yeah. Which so yeah so the, but my thing is every party that we went to and Kai was at another party but I, we were I didn't really see him. He was at another party we were at. They put him on the stage. Same thing. Blah blah blah. Like. They were giving They're him the a platform. Show out of it. They were mm. literally making a show out of, oh, mm. Kaisa Nott's here. Yeah. Put him on the stage. Kaisa Nott's here. Dagger gal. Stab up gal. Put her on her back. Pick Jamaicans her. Like, love fucker. Yeah. One thing I will say about my people, they love fucker. They love fucker too much. Yeah. So like, my thing is, okay, yes, right. you can say that, yeah, he's making, he was, you know, it, that's not what, yes, it's a part of Jamaican culture, but that's not all, especially what carnival is. But that's what they're feeding him to do every time he yeah, goes Jamaican, out. Because them love fucker. Every time they goes out, it's Kaisa not. Come on stage, There's dagger gal, f- shoulder fling, nulling god. This, this like it's they're just doing a whole bunch of shit at him. Like if you take and it he's in, just like performing. You see how like when white white people like Chet Hanks, for instance, you see how he's just making a mockery of everything. Jamaicans love fuckery. Like it's like we're tr- like we're trolling the trolls. Yeah. So we just want you to keep up with the fuckery. But people that understand that who don't know the culture are obviously gonna look at it like, oh, this is how you guys are. Mm-hmm. Nah, Jamaicans just love fuckery, man. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. love gimmicks. And I love fuckery too. Ex- <laughs> like that's simply it. So I'm, <laughs> and I'm recording this shit because it's hilarious to me. Like this man's daggering this mm-hmm. girl on the stage. She's holding on security, flying off. These fling it. It was hilarious to me. Oh, gosh, so we were just recording yeah. it all because I was like dying. It like was, it was hilarious. It was, it was literally that was Zoe's type of carry and I should like this. Literally, <laughs> Zoe <laughs> loves fuckery. Fuckery. Shit, I don't want to be a part of it. But to witness it, Shit, I yo, love Zoe witnessing love what blood cat fuckery. Fuss, you know. So I'm, all of this like online controversy about what he was doing is kind of fake, really. 
Because uh, over there, uh, nobody cared, no? They uh, loved it. Uh, from a, from a, a Jamaican dance hall standpoint, no. But from a carnival standpoint, yes. Because yes. carnival is different, right? Mm-hmm. Carnival is like a whole experience. It's a culture. It has a history behind it. There's a respect factor to but it. This isn't carnival. This is a freaking party. But people but don't know the difference. But he was doing that stuff at carnival. So yeah. he was just daggering, yeah, daggering, yeah, daggering, yeah, daggering, yeah. daggering, daggering every girl. My, I saw a couple slow wines he was given. I, I, uh, I did. I saw like one or two. He's like he's <laughs> dancing. You know how like back in the day we had the all ages jams. And yeah, then yeah, yeah. When, <laughs> That's what the man's doing the fucking whole time. Jump, 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 jump. How, how are you doing that to Machal Montano? That man has no song where he should be daggering a shot. To. The fuck's wrong with you? And his friends were all doing it. Little Those Asian, are Chinese the boy. Little Asian kid. Mr. China, yeah, like, oh, a dagger girl. I'm, I want to. I'm like, I want to rescue him. The little Asian kid. He looked like, like he was winded. <laughs> he looked like he was winded. <laughs> the little, the little Asian boy. He, he I want to save him. Because I feel like they're making a mockery out of him. You know no. what I mean? Like, I feel no, like he's he their, like... The little Rasta hat. Yeah, he's, like, their staple Asian friend. Oh, the guy who could, uh, yeah. who's coming from... What's his name? Taiwan. He has a name. Ray. Ray. He has, like, yeah. a bird chest. Yeah, like, I just feel like they're, like... I don't think he actually wants to be doing this. You know what, what I mean? You don't think so? <laughs> you ain't got to do this. I felt like... I was Captain save a I'm just like, you don't oh, have yeah. to do this, True, because you saw it in real life. You're not seeing the highlights like us. Yeah, like, like he's there. he was there with his glasses on, looking around. They're like, Dagger, he's like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. You want me such chin? That's crazy. <laughs> is that the title for <laughs> Mr. Chin? No, <laughs> we can't make it. Why? <laughs> it's not racist. It's, it's Jamaican. Not racist. It's Jamaican. Why right, is that poor yeah. Mr. Chin? But my thing is, yeah, he was just there, just and his eyes were crossed. I'm like, is he okay? Like, <laughs> I like, did they give him something? What do you mean his eyes are crossed? Bro, I'm telling you, there's clips they of gave him. him yeah, he's just that's like, what they gave him. Cause <laughs> he's looking in the air. He you like, know, you know, saying, y'all. He's like. <laughs> they're not at them kind of thing in like, Taiwan. They're not, they're not at no, no big butty girl. It's like they didn't running. know where he was. Wait, what'd you say? We had a big butty girl that shit running in Taiwan. What <laughs> <laughs> excitement for him. It was nuts, man. But yeah, that poor guy. But anyways, the party was lit though. We had a great time. Yeah. Mm. We almost got kidnapped. Uh, what? So let me listen. That's Jamaica. Girl. One no. thing about me. That's Jamaica I know and love. One thing about me. People, I'm very keen, eh? I don't play. Yes, I can be drunk, but I'm I'm very like, yo, I don't play. So they're like, yo, we're going to after party. So I'm like, okay, yo, we're on vacation. After party is the whole right. party and the, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, okay, after party, bless. I'm like, where are we going? You know, next club, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So he's like, yeah, don't worry, don't worry, get in the car. I'm like, okay, where are we going though? Like, are we mm-hmm. staying in Kingston? They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, mm-hmm. we're staying in Kingston. Everybody's staying in Kingston. Mm-hmm. They're like, yeah. And I said, okay. Ask it one more time. I'm like, all right, cool. So we all get in the car now. My girl, we're just in our own little, they put us in our little section, blah, blah, blah. And this was like, this wasn't even Kai's people. This was someone else uh, that we were with, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then my home, our homie was going to follow. So we're sitting in the car, we're just waiting for everyone to pull out, blah, blah, blah. And I look at the GPS and it said one hour. We're going to watch go back? We're going to watch go back? Ochi. So I the, and it said one hour and eleven minutes, and I said and I squinted my eyes Yo. so hard. <laughs> Yo, you want to know what's funny? You want to know talking. what's funny about that? What? Because I didn't even know that that happened to you, but um, <laughs> it happened to you. This, no, I'm saying I didn't even know that this happened to Zoe oh. because because Deshay and Michael Rainey Jr. were on their stream the next morning talking about how they were trying to rope girls to the crib. And they were telling the, they told the girls that they were going to Kingston, and they said the girls fell asleep in the whip. They woke up and they were in Ochi, an hour yeah. away. Oh, that wasn't me. Uh, no, that wasn't me. I didn't. I did not no, go. But I'm saying that's yeah, what they're trying to take. They're trying they to take. They tried to. They tried to get you. You got out, but someone else got got. Oh, that's girls sick. went to Ochi. Oh, girls, nah. See, that's the thing. You gotta pay attention, yo. You have to pay attention. Because my thing is, Jamaica. I'm like, I, I, I honestly didn't even know he was going to the same place. I just thought it was like an after, like it was calm, like we were all whatever, whatever. But then, so good thing we didn't, because I look, I look at the GPS and it said one hour and eleven minutes, and I said, "Whoa!" I'm like, "Nowhere in Kingston is gonna take us an hour and eleven minutes." Even to get in to. traffic. And I said, "Yo, where are we going?" And the driver's just like mute, and I was like, "No." I'm like, "Sir," I'm like, "Where are we going?" And he was like, "I'm like, are we going to Ultra Rios?" And he was like, "Yeah." And I said, "Open the car door, yo." I said, "Open the car door." So I get out. All of us get out. I said, "Yo, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Like, don't play with me. I'm not. Are you kidding? Are you dumb?" So and now when I want to leave, you, I can't call Uber out there. Yeah. Jamaica Uber only runs in certain Kingston, areas, you know, yeah, Kingston, Kingston and Montego Bay. Some areas. Yeah. So imagine me, Ultra Reels now trying to get what? I said, "No, no, no, no." I said, "Let me out." And I'm like, first of all, y'all ain't even going to." I'm like, "Y'all ain't going to after party. <laughs> like, you're fake." And yeah, that's 
smart because they probably ended up at their damn villa. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this yeah. is not, like, y'all are liars. This is not no damn after party. And then we went to go to hail Russian and them. He's like, yeah, he's like, we're not going there. I said, see? Everyone's uh, a liar. Everyone's a liar. Imagine. Oh, uh, they tried to do the AP sneak. What is this? <laughs> what is that? Why do you? Why is there a term? What is the AP sneak? <laughs> why do you have a term? <laughs> it's just like, it's why, a, it's like, a trick as go old to the as AP time. Is just what their house. trick? Yeah. Ew, I don't like that at all. Because I'm nice. thinking, you know, because technically, it's a, it's still an after party. It's just not at a venue. It ain't a party. No, no. no. I thought we were going to a next venue, mm-hmm. as in a party. When you're on an island, there's no really lock off time. You're yeah. a carnival, so I thought we were going to a there next. Is yeah, I'm a crazy venue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're going to a next venue. It's a great venue. Uh, wow. You know, my yeah. Airbnb. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're going to club. Th- Are you club kidding? Bed. Are you kidding? <laughs> I said, DJ Hell condoms no. and Hennessy. Good thing that I caught that. Because if I ended up at Ultra Rios, mm. um, that would have been. I like to know for context. Ultra Rios is a completely different city. It is an hour and a half, maybe. And it's far. Maybe it's from far. Kingston. Yeah. And that's like at nighttime when there's no traffic. Exactly. Imagine me wake up now. Are you nuts? And how the hell are you gonna get back? Okay then. And also, why the hell am I with you guys at your Airbnb? I have a home. Hello? <laughs> like, what? It's a look, nice one, too. The they, 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 <laughs> with a nice pool. Like, yeah. They might no pool and I'm dirty players. Yeah, I'm not going. What? Pocket. And also, when we get there, what do we do? Man, I'll tell you, I don't like... One thing about me, I do not like putting myself in and, positions mm-hmm. where I know that I'm not doing nothing. Because my thing is, I'm not going to be that girl who goes and like, oh, I'm not... Do- no, I'm just not going. Yeah. yeah I'm yeah. not going. Like, you don't even get yourself into that situation. I'm never... Because, you know, you never know, but you never know until you know, you know? Exactly. Even on the yacht, I'm like, bro, I'm not, that's not happening. Is Kingston on the water? No, no it's Kingston's landlocked. a city. So how'd you even get to the boat? There's we, no, the party was all the way in Port Royal. In Port, so yeah, if you know yeah, where Port Royal is, that's like the end of the oh, island. Okay. The end of the island, it's and Mar- it's near actually. like where all the boats dock, gotcha, basically. Gotcha. But I'm telling you, for the girls who don't, listen... For girls who don't pay attention, I'm, I encourage women, be very open to your surroundings. Even when you're going out and you want to have a good time, yes, drink, but like, yo, especially when you're on a sure. foreign island or anything like that, like, make sure you're, on your you're not cues. just trusting no man and going, no. Ochi. Ochi. Not even like, look at Portmore down the streets. No. My bum, no. no, sir. Your friends are lucky you were there. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, well, well, I feel like they would have. They would have known for sure. But I think just because where I was sitting in the car and I had like full view, and my homegirl was on the phone trying to get us like a backup ride, like, yo, just in case it doesn't work out, yo, homie, come pick us up. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was just looking at the car. I'm like, yo, I have a good feeling about this. And I looked at the time and I said, but this is an hour. And I said, hell no. Hell no! Yo, you would have you would have ended up at the B and B with K. What about those Kai's place? Who uh, I would have ended up where? At the B and B with B&B. K. Cash. Who's K. Cash? What's that K. Cash? You know the girl on Instagram with the long tongue? Oh, oh yeah, Gosh, she was there. She was the there? girl on Instagram. You what know the has girl my country that turned into? That girl with the long tongue. Oh wow! Yeah. Where's my she country was there. Into? Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, random link up. Do you know who she? I don't. I just remember she used to be on like Tory Lane stuff. <laughs> okay, I think that's right. Yeah, I like uh, why do we know who this person is? Yeah, quarantine, <laughs> quarantine. She used to be on Tor- Tory Lane's quarantine. Yeah, yeah. She has that really the long, long tongue. tongue. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. She was, she was there. She was there. Okay. I don't know what she was doing, but she was there. There. Why has my country you, turned Jamaican into? turning into some fuck I don't for like real. that. I'm not gonna lie. I it miss, I miss real. when it was like no one knew what the hell Jamaican Carnival was. Yeah, costumes were like five hundred dollars. Big frontline costume. Mm. People on road. Nobody's bothering you. There's not bear traffic. It was just a good time. No. Nope. Now I'm seeing how carnivals turned into. I I don't know if I want to even go back now. Like I'm like Ew. yeah. And when those men are on your body, they're on your body. And I have no like, manners, eh? Uh, yo, Jamaican, Jamaican men, men, bro. Yes, they're dirty. Okay. And it's like, sir, like, I don't know you. Like, I actually, like, I am a stranger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, you don't know say if I'm a mad, you don't yeah. know if I'm a killer. Yo, I'm telling you, but Jamaican men, they're on your body, bro. And it's like, are you okay? You don't know if I have a mm. gun? Yeah. Like, you don't know. I could be mad in my head. They love that. A lot of catcalling when you were there. Cat calling Dog and just calling, rabbit calling, calling, this calling and this calling and that call. Every call they can call, Jimmy, come on, I go call. I'm going to call the telephone. Because they're probably shooting like 10%. And they're like, maybe. maybe this Yo, Mucho. That's horrible. He can't, Mucho he can't hear you because he doesn't have headphones on. Trey's yelling. Oh. Um, do you want me to be the Trey translator? So, I need that. We can relay the message. All yes. right, let's do it. So, so um, um, okay, enough, don't do that in real time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Go, Tresor. Go I have an aneurysm. Something, <laughs> something that Kai and Deshay and all of them were saying about Jamaica mm. is that Jamaican girls 
were not jacking them. Like, they Jamaican girls were not rating them at all, and they okay, were like, the flabbergasted <laughs> and bamboozled for why the Jamaican girls didn't rate them. Okay. And I think I kind of cracked the code. Why? Because I think Jamaican girls are way more like Toronto girls than American girls are. Mm. And I think this goes to prove like, <laughs> this goes to prove what us Toronto dudes have been saying for a while. Where like if that you can stush? get girls in Toronto, you could get girls anywhere because mm. American girls what, 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 American what, 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 girls are way more of a layup than Toronto girls. The Toronto girls, what? yeah, they're they're <laughs> way more like, stingy. They're definitely way more stingy. And they were just Hello. flabbergasted as to why the girls were not rating them. Mm. So basically what Jasor was saying that <laughs> nice. what Kai and, I don't know, his friends were saying is that Jamaican girls were not jacking them. Ooh. And Jamaican yeah, girls were all. way more like stush and weren't really like checking for them and stuff like that. Really? And Jasor is trying to say that he feels like Toronto girls are the same way. Ah. That we it's move like that. And compared to like American, American girls, girls who yeah. might be more easier to move. And Tristor was saying that we're more comparable to Jamaican women well, yeah. because as we are. Yeah, because we're more stush. And Tristor was saying if you can beg a Toronto girl, you can beg a girl anywhere. That's why we do well in America. Probably. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. So I because feel you have like, an accent. I, I feel like the average, maybe the average Toronto girl, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't beg Toronto women, but I feel like maybe the average is hard to beg. But there's some easy bitches out here for sure. That's crazy. There's some easy yeah, bitches. Yeah, but it depends. But it uh, builds character <laughs> out here. <laughs> living out here. <laughs> But I will say, I don't it know, this is all I know, statistics. so I can't really call it. Well, if you've been to the community center of Toronto, you will see the easy bitches. Yeah, there's, there's easy the girls. There's center. easy Drake's girls house. here. Oh, my God. Drake's house is the community yeah. center. Great transition. Not, yeah, not we're even. Talking about, mm. We're talking about averages. Yeah. Field goal percentage. If we're talking about, if field we're goal talking or about, true shooting. Yeah, averages sure. and field goal percentage. <laughs> as a Toronto man in Toronto... The, the bar is a little bit higher than if you were an outsider in Toronto. Mm. And then it's kind of flipped to where in America, if you're an outsider, the bar is a little bit easier. But in general, they're just like, they're more they're direct and forward. Mm. Being and American, it's like a lottery remember, team. Like you're just, you can score 30 points a game mad easy, but in Toronto is different. Like you make the yeah. playoffs every year. You <laughs> got like, it's, it's, it's okay. I hear what you said. But also I get it. I remember a couple like, not the last time, but the time before when I went to Jamaica and I was kind of just moving around with my bro and whatever. I'm trying to talk to girls and I get it. And it's like, they just don't, they're, they're not, not having it. Yeah. They don't rage you. Yeah, they don't rage you. <laughs> but also, I think I they're on the boat with the in. devil. <laughs> I need yeah. to know who this is now. I'll tell you after we record. But I think, so but I, think I also went in unprepared. No, I kind of, um, I was not oh, familiar. Yeah. I was not you? familiar with Jamaica's <laughs> game. Because in my mind, and it might be kind of wrong to think, I'm thinking Jamaica, okay, I don't really have to do too much. Why? Oh, you're whatever. Right. Whoa, and it's you're cool. dirty bright, man. Yeah, exactly. All, all I have to do is like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm from foreign. This, that's, that's all I have to do. That's my meal ticket. I thought that's what is was Is this 90 Day Fiance, by, but I'm a foreigner? <laughs> and, it, and it wasn't. I think that works because, more for women than it would for men, to yeah. be honest. Yes. But also, Jamaicans are very... um big on appearance and how you look like yes. you have to look you have to like, money. like you're somebody yeah and i was there just shit, wife beater shorts trying to bag <laughs> girls and that was not man looked like he was and working Kai at the them, jamaican garage yeah fixing cars and Kai, and them, Kai and them were saying yeah they they didn't bring none of their chains they didn't bring no drip they were just there chilling trying to bag mm. and it wasn't happening there was this there was these two jamaican girls that were talking to deshay and deshay asked them Yo, why don't girls uh, like me over here? And the girl shame. said, "And the girl said, you smile, you shot. Oh, you look good. You're a Jamaican so... woman told, told Kai, you shot and you don't look good. That's why I didn't <laughs> want you. <laughs> okay, I read it. I mean, sometimes you gotta feel like you felt before you had money. Like I read it. And Jamaican okay. women will let you feel like that. Yeah, that's good. I'll, ma that I'll make you feel like that. I love making people feel like that because yeah, it's like, bro. Just what do you think you are? Who do you? you are bro just because you have these money and these chains and you want to whatever talk to me like yo don't look at listen that man the man on the boat i was very close to humbling eh? i don't care about your accolades sir yeah. you're nasty 90 something this him no. putting his hand in the na nasty shrimp 
I'm, even my friend was like, bro, you're brave for looking. I'm like, I don't give a fuck for looking at him. You're nasty. Mm, that's as bad as Trey songs with the chicken bone. Like we were all, <laughs> <laughs> like we were all eating from there. And now you want to come put your hand. I gave him the dirtiest look like, yeah. nasty bitch. <laughs> Yuck. He, kn- he needs more women like you around him. Maybe. Maybe yeah. that's what it is. Be- what more? I, what, these niggas have need, all yes But they men never will. They, they will. they will never. Me, they will never have us around. They will never have women like me around. Seriously. Yeah. Like, I would never get invited back. If I lived in Jamaica and they're like, fuck, they're like that girl, she's the- <laughs> Right. <laughs> oh, I've, re- I've already I've already not yeah. invited to certain spaces in Jamaica because be like, I'd no. be cussing the fuck out of niggas. Because it's like, they my thing is like, they want the uptown thoughts. <laughs> And I don't need to be like I, I think it's, I'm also nice. I'm also nice, but it's like ew. You're like when you're being weird and you're being right. arrogant and gross. I don't need to be a part of it. I'm not frightened yeah. for nobody. Yeah. And I also I'm not I'm not I'm not a girl who's moved by that stuff. Yeah. I'm not so I don't care people. to look at you same ways like you're a regular regular man because you are to me. Mm-hmm. Ew. But Kai and them like they seem like they're pretty nice though. When you oh just, yeah, they're yeah. they're nice. Yeah, they, they were. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm sure that they have their thing or whatever. But I mean, yeah, they seem like he pretty, was just cool. But like I didn't really have much interaction with him. Yeah, you know, other than like the handshake, which was put on a job, million the person job interview stream. ass handshake, the job that, interview handshake <laughs> that Aiden gave her. <laughs> they both gave who me this. Aiden, oh, both of them. Aiden okay. Ross is the big white boy streamer, the one who fucks sexy red. Um, I don't know these people. Yeah. Anyways, you don't know who Aiden Ross and she is. don't know these people. Uh. Yeah, but regardless, that was it. I also met some before we wrap this up. It's an I'm hour on Jamaica. I know. I'm like before. I also met some really cool people um, from Toronto or mm-hmm. Brampton. Uh, it was funny because we went to the resort. Because I thought, not that I skipped, but like, you know what? People recognize me in Kingston. Went to the resort now in Montego Bay. Sat down by the pool. Oh, yeah, the, the real fir- one, eh? yeah. yeah. Sat down by the pool the first, like, 30 minutes. And this, like, big black guy walks up to us. And I'm like, oh, my God. What's this man going to come say to me? And he was like, are you Zoe? And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, he's like, you know, we're from Toronto. Like, we're big fans. Like, my girlfriend's a big fan. His name Aww. was Namdi. He'd probably listen to it. And his girlfriend's name was Beverly. She's very Aww. sweet. Yeah, she's a big supporter of the you. podcast. So you guys shout her out. She's really, really nice. Amazing. And her friends were, like, airing out her business. They were like, she was staring at you. Like, is that her? Is that her? <laughs> <laughs> like, so, don't air her out. Were like, they young? <laughs> no, they're, like, our age. Wow, yeah. <laughs> they were not that. young. No, no. I mean, we're young. But, yeah, yeah. they were not younger than us. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but she was really cute. And, like, we chilled with them the first day at the resort. They were there for a Batch, a joint bachelor bachelorette, which what? I don't. <laughs> that's not. That's that? not. That's not a. That's what I do not want to hear Bucho because they're my new friends. I don't want to hear Bucho. I won't lie. I don't want to hear. That sounds like it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> She's always like, that sounds like it sucks. I won't lie. <laughs> when they did tell me, I was it's like, I would here. never, never do that. Uh, I feel like that defeats the purpose of it. But because they said they had, I think they're like maybe, I think they're high school sweethearts. They, were, they dated for a uh, long time okay. and they have the same friends. They just so thought they would sense. do it together. But to me, it's like, nah, like when I get married, like you do your bachelor and don't do anything stupid. I'll do my bachelorette and not do anything stupid. But we don't need to do it together. You know what I'm saying? What's the point? Yeah, it seems Bucho redundant. was wrong. <laughs> yeah, together is crazy, but I know homegirls listen to this, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's not the one who got married. It was her friend. Oh, okay. Yeah, your friends are wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, what? Why do you want a pre-honeymoon? Just have a honeymoon. <laughs> what the hell is that? Look, <laughs> That's the most chopped thing I ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a little... A little weird. Yeah. Yeah. And I there were some UK guys. Of course, there were mad UK people at the resort. Really? Yeah, man. Same mad. Right. They were there for like two weeks. I said, two weeks. Yeah. Whoa, they have to fly like yeah. 20,000 yeah. hours. Wait, it's Montego far. Bay, Rio? Yeah. yeah. That's where I was. Uh, yeah. were, I think my friends were there that weekend. Oh, really? It's a it's a lit hotel. It's li- it's literally college is, hill. Yes. But my thing is, we stayed. That's so stayed. there's tiers of the Rio. There's Rio, Montego Bay, which Rio is like Reggae. bottom, but it's not the bottom. It's just standard. It's the biggest one. There's mm. Rio, Montego Bay. Then there's Rio Reggae. And then there's, then the, there's Rio Palace. And that's for like the retired. Yeah, but I people. went to Rio Palace. I won't lie. Oh. Because I like to have the quiet when I want the quiet. Mm. And I don't like to wake up to fuckery. I don't want to hear fuckery in the middle of the night. So it was, to to yeah, it was good to have that. Four in the morning. Yeah, it was good to have that option of like, yo, okay. Let's oh, go you're to, able to go to Rio, all of them. Yeah, so if you're at Mont- Rio Montego Bay, you can't go, go to, to the other ones. Yeah. No, but you could go down. But you can go down. Yeah. So my thing is that I liked having like the quiet serenity. We had an also really nice side of the beach. We had really calm bars, all that stuff. That was cool. But if I wanted to go to the fuckery, then I can go to the other side. Rio Mobile. But it's good to, yeah, my team, we went to go bait with a fucker. I went there, we're, I was there for New Year's Eve yeah. for my birthday. Oh, nice. The foam party, which I didn't participate because, ew. The foam party <laughs> was lit to watch. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't seem like fuckery. a foam party. Uh, I'm not a yeah. phone, but you know me, yeah. me in that cesspool. Are you crazy? I'm not touching that. <laughs> people so, touching her? Touch, oh, yeah, people God. touching me? Zoe would pass away. What? And my thing is, men. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason to wear your wife beater in the pool. Oh. Whatever body you got, it's okay, baby. It doesn't matter. I see a nigga in socks. I don't care if you fa- that's that. Insane. No, this is no. no, no, no. I stand there with socks. The, in the, first, pool. the first thing's body issues. That's yeah. serial killer. <laughs> That's psychopathy. Go, go. That's go get a pedicure. Yeah. No, but yeah. <laughs> Any body you got, baby, it's okay. We're on so, vacation. So zone in on that. This, so you, like, don't wear a tank top in the pool, right? Why are you wearing your wife beater but, in the pool? You but look that's crazy. Still, you're showing your showing your shape. Pause. It sounds like body shaming. Like no, the it's the opposite of body shaming. I'm saying, baby, let your body rock. And you look crazy because your nipples Take just poking off. out. Yeah, you're, I don't think it's okay. Look, hold it's on, hanging out like this. If you, if you are big, hold if you are small, now. take the take off the the white beater, baby. Man. Mm-hmm. Re- reversal man why are you reversal man here. you want to? <laughs> oh, gosh, there's no oh, brother. Way, here we go. No way. There's no way we could tell a girl. Yo, it doesn't matter what your body looks like. If you feel insecure about your body, wear the bikini. Why are you wearing a, a one piece? That's different. It's a bathing suit. Yeah, that's true. It's a bathing suit. If a man was wearing, um, 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 um like there's swim thingies that come with like the swim shirt and the shorts. Like you can, there, there's. <laughs> I feel like that'd be even. Crazy. You look crazy, but like at least you don't look crazy. The wife beater. You come outside the water. The wife beater. It's it's half wet. Your nipples are clinging to it. You look like this, like yeah, impossible. You look like, your belly button yeah, you look suctioning like in the, the fucking the, shirt. You look, like you look fucking nuts, bro. <laughs> So like every match should have like a wet t-shirt contest. Like, That's where the yeah. bad bitches. What are you it, doing? It's, it's all awesome. odd. It's, I'm not gonna lie. It's, I'm, listen, whatever floats your boat, do it. I just don't think it's not, like. Yeah. I think it's a little crazy. You're in the middle of the pool party with your wife beater off, and the wife beater's not even clean. <laughs> have the whole pool tasting like Dawn soap. Okay. The soap. What's, the, so, what's the soap? What's the soap? Use Febreze. I don't Febreze. know why you're tasting the pool water, but <laughs> yo, sometimes I sw- I'm a swimmer. Uh, yeah, I was, I was swimming I'd like a fish. Yeah. Anyways, that was my trip. I saw a shooting star. Nice. Mm. Yeah, I I did wish on it. Love that. I saw a shooting star for the first time in my life. We were stargazing on the beach. I saw a shooting star. That's romantic. And I saw the big d- romantic. It was just me and my <laughs> and some people that we met. It wasn't lot. We were just up late and we we're just looking at the stars. But yeah, because my homegirl pointed out the Big Dipper. So I saw the Big Dipper for the first time, and I saw a shooting star for the first time. So nice. great trip. Thanks, guys. Yeah, people, people are looking forward to my recap, and that was my hour-long recap of Jamaica. People love when you go on vacation. People yeah. love it. Yeah. Yeah, I come back with come back mad with stories. crazy shit. And honestly, you, maybe you're right. Maybe the clout does chase me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no interest in it. I don't care. I will never you end, just end up, up in them. I, those men don't interest me. I don't want... No. We but did... Uh, I'm here for the stories. I'm here to tell the experiences. But I really... I think the more I... More clout magnetizes to me. Is that a word? Magnetizes? Yeah, know. you got it. The more that, the less I ever want to be a part of any of that. Mm-hmm. I don't think I would ever want to be with a man who is like putting rich shrimp and famous, in their, ha- putting their hands, in putting the their shrimp. hands in shrimp after they come fuck from the bottom of the yacht. <laughs> it's poop, not my poop, bag. Got him. I just, I just don't like it. I don't like it. And some girls, maybe that's for you and you enjoy it, but I just want to be like. Financially stable, maybe a little rich and just comfortable Hello. with my little man dog. and my cute kids and my dogs and a nice backyard with a pool. I don't want with like, your regular man. Very yeah, yeah regular. Oh. What's the level of unregular where you that's like that's too much? Like when you go to Jamaica, there's eight, ten people that notice you. You don't care if your man is on the same type of timer. No. Right. But why do they notice him though? What does he do? No, damn. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what are we doing that he notices know, him? I don't know. He's making content. Or Lincoln bio. Oh, I don't. I don't like the content creator man. No or offense. He's an or artist. Or that an gives actor me the ick. Even that. I don't even know if I'd want to do like artist or actor. No. I just. I just. I just it get, get a nice nine to five, boy. Yeah, Leave these creative man. men alone. Child. I just. This, it's very. I don't want it. I'm very Leave the artsy fartsy niggas alone. <laughs> so who do you want to be with? A a Instagram startup tech advisor? You're yeah. Your percentages is going smaller and smaller. Why? How? I just want to be a regular you man. Just said, you just said you wanted someone that's comfortable, maybe a bit rich, <laughs> but no athletes, no content creators. Like, you know, people can left? be rich without content creators. Yeah, maybe you. Not maybe he has a not Twitch. Maybe he's a marketing executive. Maybe he, you but know, what? what? You forget people have yes, jobs. Yes, but what's rich? Rich you is, can rich can rich, be like rich is objective. Yeah, rich is objective. My thing is, 
if we don't have to worry about like how we're putting food on the table or you know how we're paying the mortgage i'm very good with that if we have disposable, we can take our kids on vacation every year that's if you want to call that rich sure that's comfortable that's what i want i don't need to have like yeah. G-Wagon yeah. And, and, yeah I just want like Nice car Nice house Our kids don't have to worry about money We can get them when we want When we want it We can go on vacation We have disposable income We don't have to worry about like shit a private school Yeah that's what I want If you want to call that rich Sure But that is what I want I don't want like Excess You know I have to worry about What my man is doing yeah. He's on a yacht Putting his fingers in shrimp After he's fingering <laughs> bitches Like I don't want that I don't want that At all uh, fame, that does not fame and wealth, they don't have to be. It's anything. great for the story. And it's funny because my homegirl, I texted my homegirl like, bro, I was just with at this blah, blah. And I said, she was like, yo, how do you always end up in these situations? I'm like, yo, I don't know. I actually don't know. And it's never me who's the plug, you know. It's always me who gets brought in by somebody else. Blame my friends. B- dead ass. Birds of a feather, Zoe. Yes. Mm. For, but my thing is, my friends are all good, though. We're all yeah, cool. Yeah, you're good youths. But my thing is, my friends always have the plug like i always oh who you know this my thing is she didn't even know the the, the, the celebrity she knew someone who knew? else yeah. who just happened to be in the same section as it's jamaica jamaica's small yeah jamaica's a really small and place, when celebrities so. are out there they don't hide like we saw Sean Paul. because no one in the front for nobody we saw mad ass like they don't Shinsia hide i was there Shantia, Matchel, Montana, like they don't. I'm hide. glad you said Sean Paul, like as an aside, because I thought the boat guy was Sean Paul. For oh no, no, no! <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> yeah, if it was Sean Paul, I would literally be crying because yeah, I love Sean Paul so much. Right. I still love this guy or loved this guy, mm. but I like love Sean Paul, so I'd be heartbroken yeah. if Sean Paul was that fucker. And Sean Paul's a grown man. He's so grown and bald. You know, Sean Paul's bald now. He is. No more braids. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Sean Paul was there. I saw him. Sean Paul's a, he's very calm, cool, mm-hmm. you paying respect. But yeah, I just. It's just, yeah, I'm just not, no. But, no. yeah, so some reason I just always end up in these situations. And like I said, it's Jamaica, so you're outside. People are outside. People are not, we saw, like I said, people were just outside the hotel drink. Like, it was very calm. They don't really have to like Jamaicans that. Jamaicans like, they did, but not, not crazy. Yeah, yeah, but Jamaicans yeah. don't care about celebrities like that. They don't, which is hilarious tell, yeah. to me. They, my, because everyone thinks they're a celebrity. My there. cousin like, was like, yo, Chris hmm. Brown was here a couple months ago, and everyone was like, oh, Chris Brown. But, like, it wasn't like Yeah, Jamaicans to, genuinely don't give a yeah, shit. Yeah, they don't care. Isn't LA they say like that? Because, like, there's celebrities everywhere, so people just don't really, like, no one gives a shit who you are. Like, Well, Chisora can answer that one. Uh, yeah, Chisora's yeah. there right now. So, Chisora, you can answer that question. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's not necessarily wrong. Well, like, people still care, but there's definitely levels Mm-hmm. Your celebrity card will get tested in LA for sure. Fair, Cause fair. like I said last time at Grammys, like there were celebrities in line with me at Damn. Pow not getting in. Mm. People that in Toronto, like they would be clearing out the block for. Fair. Oh, word, 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 word. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. But I mean, like I said, it wasn't like I was not going out there expecting to rub shoulders with any of those people <laughs> but i mean jamaica's yeah. only so big and kingston's yeah. only so big we're yeah, all gonna end up at the same places yeah. regardless if we're going to the lit spot so right people always yeah. enjoy your vacations yeah mm-hmm. but anyways Word. but we're like but all we... right y'all um all right y'all i'm gonna go okay hey, bye, Trisor. Bye, Trisor. You got a call time you got a... i know Wait, he's gonna on, be bro. in the booth but by the way, did y'all see Drake and Rick Ross having a rich off on on oh, I, stories I, I got a good we're, we're talking about right we're gonna now talk like about it. this is li- like are they doing it right now uh, Drake Rick posted Rick Ross's crib and he said, Rick, you sandwiched in because the vacant land is not yours. This shit, the Miami starter pack, you living in a content creator crib. And oh, then oh. Wow, his said, story? Yes. And then he said, imagine you have 88 million to spend on a crib. Your shits be steals like you got them from a police auction. Your Star Island house on a sliver of cheesecake. Your lot is 40,000 square feet. My crib is 40,000 square feet. And you put a wrap on your timeshare jet. That shit coming off when it's other people's turn to fly. Oh, my Holy God. Holy shit. I'm just seeing <laughs> well, I'm, reading, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing it just now. It's right here. Jeez. Drake? Okay, we'll talk about it. Thanks, Drake. Just <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye. Bye. Be safe. One love. Ew, you say one love? Yuck. One, one love? What? Yeah, Why are you hating on one love? <laughs> All right, Chet Hanks, calm down. <laughs> what? Who says one love? I didn't even love? say it with an accent at one love. Man, I say but, love, though. You know a guy made fun of my snort in Jamaica? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, we need to get that under control. I was like, bitch, Tell me I have sinus problems. Me. People get mad at me for my snort, too. I'm like, I have sinus issues. That's ableist. Also, someone said I had a nice back. <laughs> And he meant actual oh, back. I was like, you talking about your back? No, 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 back. He talking about your delts. My okay. back. <laughs> your what? <laughs> my delts. Deltoids. My delts. Yeah. My back is not big anymore, guys. It's slimming. 
That's what I like. He was like, you go to the gym? I was like, yeah, why? I almost hit like a good, good <laughs> a post. That's that reformer Pilates. <laughs> I haven't started reforming yet. Oh, I have my first class is on Saturday. Oh, okay, there we go. There but yeah, go. he was like, you go to the gym? And I was like, yeah, why? You know, I kind of like turned to the side. Yeah. He was like, <laughs> you, like you, got a, like, you got like a nice back. And I was like, back. Was this a Jamaican man who said that? No. Okay. <laughs> You got a nice You're back. a dickhead. I am. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> We're supposed to be like, anyways. Green card. You did in have Toronto to. Toronto news. You had to take a week off, and uh, a lot happened in that week. I yeah. had to take a week off. A lot happened. Yes, in Toronto news, Drake dropped. Uh, I think his best diss <laughs> track yet. Ooh. Mm. You think I it's better think, than back to back? Yes. A hundred percent. Absolutely. Ten thousand percent. Absolutely. Twenty thousand percent. Absolutely. So I haven't been a Drake fan since lutely. 2000 and like 10, but I'm a Drake fan again. You don't Definitely like anybody. I so love many that artists nigga. that you're like, I didn't like but this you know what? for 10 it's years. Because I started listening to these artists from before, like they were famous. So I fell in love with the artists that they were. And yeah. then when they started doing foolishness, I don't like them no more. They okay. cheese me. But okay. that made me fall in love with Audrey again, bro. I was Aubrey's Angels for the weekend, bro. Wow. Like I was about to get a t-shirt made. Am I allowed to play it? Obi-Wan Am I not so. allowed to play it? Right. But no, my no thing XO, is like XO, just no, no XO, no XO. What the fam, hell? No XO. We don't, <laughs> no XO fam. We don't care about cash. We don't care about XO, now, bro. Jeez, we're, we're, we're gonna go full. <laughs> All right, let's go. What, what noise is this man? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, man. All I'm gonna say is this is easily Drake's best diss track. Like you guys, oh my gosh. How do you guys not think this is? You guys cannot tell me that this is not his best. Back to back was like a. The boy, and I don't call him the boy, but I'm gonna call him the boy today. Aubrey's I'm gonna call him the boy today. Aubrey's angels, Aubrey's angels. <laughs> sitting say? ready for liftoff. <laughs> ready for what? <laughs> Aubrey's angels reporting ready for takeoff. <laughs> Are you kidding? Nah, Drake up here. Drake's different. Nah, he ate that. Okay, he hold ate on. That one listen, you guys think that's not his best? You guys think that's not better than back to back? That's so much better I, than back to back. Yeah, I think back to back was extreme. better. Back to back was comical. Nah, it was like a it was, no. I mean, like the like out like the timing and everything and the, the way it, it lined just, up and it shit. Was, it was per, yeah, it was perfect. It was good at the time. The way he was, did Ovio Fest is, and everything and like I waited Metro four days and everything. And drugs, no, nigga. but you know what I love this and it's because he's no. Like, it's hard. This is hard. Like I'm not he's, saying he's actually like not being pussy. I even think back to back was pussy because mm. if I play back to back for my mom. She back to back is pussy. <laughs> yeah. I play back to back for my mom. My mom's not going to know who he's dissing. And I play this for my mom. I was like, oh, am I, who am I talking about? Who, who is Metro Boomin? Like, my mom can know who he's dissing. It was, someone, it was more bro. of a traditional diss track yes. than back to back. Back to back was, that's what I mean. It was nominated for a Grammy. Like, you would hear it that's in the like, club and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, it's not a serious I saw him perform it live, track. and it was like a track. Like, right. The fact like, that this is not on streaming, that is a, this is an authentic. This is hip hop. This is this like. Is real, and then Rick Ross came back. With He's the, playing ball too. Bro, the, the only one nah, that will play ball. The out man recorded it on his iPhone and dropped it. Like that's some real rap shit. Like they, yeah, this is the, actual the song like cover. Yeah, the BBL yeah. jersey. My thing is, I didn't even think Rick Ross's comeback was hard. It wasn't hard at all. I gave it two thumbs. Wasn't he just down. talking the whole time? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, he had no. It was like a minute of rapping. Then like oh. he I went thought, on like a like, rant yeah, towards the like, end. What did he say? He got a he got a no. He keeps calling him white boy. To me, that's a that's a weak jab. Like we know Drake is half white. Next, like and this is. What, I feel like he was doing it because he knows that's an insecurity of his. Yeah, but it, who cares? As biracials, that's how we know we've won the argument. <laughs> 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 Start calling us white. Uh, shit, I'm, like, I'm good. I'm good. And this is something that Rory said on the Rory and Maul podcast. He was like, 
you can't shame Drake because we already know his everything team. about it. Yeah. Like, Even okay, the things they're not has... talking about that are could like, oh, if I was dissing someone, I would probably include that. They're not even, they don't know what to do with yeah, it. Yeah, like, because my thing is, okay, we Pusha T already exposed his son. Okay, Adonis that, is like a teenager now. Yeah, he's a very uh, okay, yeah, he's half white. Okay, yeah, he did that dumb blackface in high school. Okay. Yeah, he, remember he made uh, that video. Yeah, yeah he be sleeping with girls. He be rabbited himself like already. Like, yeah, like everybody like, already knows. My thing is like, okay, yeah. Like, what are you guys really going to say? Yeah. But he's telling me that K Kendrick Lamar is splitting his entire discography with, like, 700 different labels. Like, I feel like we do that, too. <laughs> split, split, but split. But he can't oh. really say yeah. that too tough. Cause okay. You know, <laughs> you know, you know the, the young money, dirty money, cash money, bro, they, they fucked up his cash money. Cash XO is they bought, yeah, tricking but he bought his shit back. True. Yeah. He's but, good. Same with Cole. Cole bought his shit back from Hove. the, the dropping Give Me 50, man? I didn't understand Like, that. Top Dog like, Entertainment. Top Dog Entertainment, dropping Give Me 50. You don't see the video of Kendrick Lamar that fucking, he's doing the prayer push-ups? Mm -hmm. The jail push-ups? Is there, like, a... Double but entendre. I think and he's like telling him to entendre. drop a song, right? Like he's saying, drop and you know, give me 50%. Oh, give like, the yeah. Yeah. Give so you're going to drop dog. and give top 50%. Yeah. And then yeah. so it's a double you know? Yeah, like, double, damn, and then maybe the even triple dog. entendre. Yeah. Yeah. And also, he's basically calling like, he's a bitch to top dog entertainment. So yeah. top is saying drop and give him 50. You better drop and give him 50. Like you don't have a choice. And then he bought his. But, okay, yeah. but then I'm pretty sure. But is Kendrick? He's not under top anymore, though, right? Is yeah. he like PG? No, but he no. owns. I'm pretty sure he owns all everything Kendrick Underneath did it, under that yeah. album. So that's his top whole. Top does right. Yeah, yeah, his whole legendary. Yeah, discography like, that's better than every rapper. Top trying to piece it up. Top, like yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. but, but my thing is, I listen. Boys battle tested knows how to and navigate that been space. Saying. And what did we say? Okay, we had a clip the where metro we said, shit too, where he's got people playing drums outside of Magic troll. City. He, like he knows how troll. to navigate yeah. that space. He went to the school, and I tweeted this. He went to the school of Curdy, Curdy, Curtis, Fifty Cent, and Jackson, yeah, yeah. and specialized in how to terrorize his enemies. Because who told him <laughs> to put a drum line outside of Magic City? But remember when? It, remember how it started? When Metro posted all the Toronto numbers, mm, harassing yeah, him. Yeah, 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 the 416 numbers, that yeah. That man is a, a terrorist. Yeah. He needs to be put on the list. So you assume Who, Metro? Drake. Oh, Drake. <laughs> you think Drake actually did that? Yeah. For, what's the odds? What are the odds? Cyber terrorism. He's a cyber <laughs> terrorist. Remember when everyone was posting those pictures of, of Pusha T as a lizard? Oh, yeah, the Pusha box? The box? Yeah, 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 yeah. Drake is a cyber terrorist. He needs to be put on a list, bro. He's using the shit that the Russians <laughs> did to hack the election. Even, also, even the meek military. Like, yeah. That yeah. man is crazy. <laughs> What do you mean? No, you guys don't understand. You cannot tweet anything without those bots saying, Pusha T fucks lizards. Yeah, and a yeah, picture yeah. of Pusha T fucking a lizard came up. It was a reply of dead ass. I know. I, I don't you remember, you remember those <laughs> things? You can block them all. I don't okay. I don't remember. For a month and a half. A month and really? a half. Oh. He had like... You know like, how under years it's always, oh, got a free stick? Lincoln bio. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. yeah. So that's that's it was Drake. that, but it was like Pusha T slander. Oh, really? Yeah. And it was during Pusha the, T fucking the 2018 a shit? No, this was last year, baby. Oh. What? Last summer. Oh. Hold on. I don't remember that. But honestly, I'm here for the beef. Is this it? What is... Yes, like there was a bear of those pictures. <laughs> a 20v1 oh nigga. Oh my god. Like yeah. he had okay, so he had bots. Oh, just what the hell? Any, everyone's tweets. Ew. And that was like for like a, a two months straight. And so they got banned. Like two years straight, it was like. That. Yes. <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't like that at all. But no, but didn't he play, didn't he go to Meek Mill's hotel and get the room above him yeah. and was playing back to back all night long? That happened. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, he, he says it in the song. I he must have played a hundred times. You were he was going right to bed. Me, nigga. Yeah. yeah. He's such a He must have played a hundred back to back? No, that was no, Summer 16. No, in uh, Summer 16. Oh, Summer 16. Sorry, yeah. 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 He must have played a hundred yeah, times. Yeah, right, you're right. Meek had a good response to that too. What was his response? I don't even remember. He like knew he like he I put that out that. before Summer Sixteen and was taught like he had the whole intro where he was talking about it and like kind of stepped on it when Drake did it. You're a big rap fan because you're the only person in the world that knows what Meek <laughs> Mill said. <in> yeah, <laughs> I don't remember. I had no idea I what Meek Mill responded. No, that was his. That was the song that he put out and then like pretended he didn't after, which Kendrick did too. You know. That but, oh yeah, AI and we still don't know if it's AI or not. No, didn't dude from EXO confirm? Um. Well, no, there's Daylight, I guess, who said it was, and then someone from Drake's camp who said it wasn't. What? What was AI? There's, like, the Kendrick response to the response. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think it... I feel like it would have been much bigger and known if it was real. Yeah. Because everyone, like... They're saying that, they're, that they put it out as a leak to see the reception, to, like, get a snippet and, like, 
people are shitting on it. So now they're kind of backpedaling and mm. saying, oh, no, it was AI. That wasn't really us. Yeah. Like, mm. My thing is, and it's, it's crazy that when this initial Drake leak dropped, everyone spent like the first hour trying to figure out if it was AI, AI or not. That's mm-hmm. crazy. That's not me. fun. I'm we not are in the that. times we have to literally contemplate and find sources to figure out if a song leaking is by the actual you know artist or a computer. When people are like, oh, you can't tell. I'm like, no, because the thing is with AI, us on the internet, we're training them. Everything we do, we're training AI. So AI, uh, like, it literally will get to that level where we cannot tell. Like, it will it will capture cadences and the emotion. And, like, even him sighing in the beginning, now AI is going to say, oh, Drake does this in the beginning. So mm-hmm. you don't... Yeah. It's, so it's, why it's, why do you because th- we were talking about this for, before Zoe why did you why were you able to tell it was real right away I wasn't really able to tell oh, you yeah at no first really I was kind of like eh, like, is, is this real and it came out of nowhere yeah 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 and yeah. then I saw Complex drop it I'm like okay if Complex is mm-hmm. dropping it then it must, they, they must it. be able to check like no way Complex will drop an AI that's why I kind of like okay if Complex is dropping it maybe it's real and then when I saw the Rory and Maul reference people brought you're that like, back and yeah. I said okay because Rory but was there anything about the song itself where you're like there's no way a robot can make this I said the sigh in the beginning was what the yeah, subject the matter, man. And the, yeah, I think the, it was the subject the, matter. He's yeah. talking about subject Toronto matter. politics. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just, sub- it's, I don't think I the, thought it was like a ghostwriter from Toronto who knows the politics. No, no, no. no. Nah. It, it was very, yeah. It was, it was too specific. Because yeah. remember, the first... Um, with the first the first beat that it dropped on, what beat was it? It was know, Get it, Money. It had yeah, the Get it, Money sample. Yes, yes, The P. Yes. Diddy sample, yeah. And then it changed to the hard... To the what's beef. The, the, yes, the Wu Kid. That's two, that's mm. two biggie samples. It started with yeah. Fuck Bitch, Get Money, then it went to what's beef. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. So... I think it was the... Uh, it was the Cash XO disc. Yeah, that that made it not. A, 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 I knew yeah. right away as soon style. as I heard. Yeah, as soon as I heard the Cash XO disc, he said, "What do you say, Cash or my spending Abel's money?" Like. Spending Abel's money, but even before that, he didn't say Cash's name, but he said your manager was Sal. was Chubb's uh, blunt runner. Blunt, blunt runner. runner yeah. Was that Sal? Is that Sal or Cash? No, that's for Cash. I don't know. That's for is Cash. It Lam- the Lamar? Guy? No, 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 no. no. That's for Cash. He used to be. Chubb's blunt runner, I guess. Like, he was saying things like that. Like, like, very niche things. There's no way. As soon as I heard that stuff, Mm. I'm like, there's no way. But my thing is, all right, the the XO OVO beef has been something that has been brewing in the city for a while. Mm -hmm. For a decade. It's like a decade long And you know... It's hot and cold. They're cool, then they're not cool. Yeah, exactly. And And, you know, the weekend was supposed to sign a Drake, and you know, he didn't sign a Drake, and he keeps praising, thank God I never signed a Drake. Okay, thank you, you're big now. Okay, cool. And I like the weekend, you know what I mean. But my thing is, it's like, like, like we don't, like we don't care. <laughs> like you know, we don't care. Like right, right. whether you're OVO XO or it's OVO and XO separate, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I don't care. At I this don't point, yeah. like OVO is OVO, over, XO is years. XO. Mm-hmm. I don't think anyone cares about like that. Shit happened when I was in high school. Why and also, who the hell is in XO that we don't know or who we know? Like who? Like, who? Nav. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, well, Nav is big. Yeah. Big, big, Nav. Nav. He's, he sold out Scotiabank Arena. Nav. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he sold did. He did. He did. He did. Yes. He did. He did. He did. We talked about this. He did. He did. Brampton showed out. Brampton definitely showed out. That's crazy. Like, Fuck my wild. city, man. <laughs> <laughs> but he's from Rexdale. <laughs> but he's from Rexdale. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's why he said he rationalized saying the N word because he's like, I'm from Rexdale. I don't give a fuck. I was gonna throw tomatoes. His next album is called like On the Way to Rexdale or something. Bro, the man has a bowl cut, and you're telling me you're saying nigga? Are you crazy? Yeah. A man with a bowl cut cannot call me no nigga. And dumb? he's too fame hungry. He's too fame thirsty. Didn't he say like he be cheese when he steps out and no one takes no, pictures? No, what was the pretzel? Wait, shut up. What he, um, he was allergic to him. <laughs> it wasn't real, but it was this funny joke that um, who was he hanging out with? That he went to hang out with Drake and he was allergic to pretzels and he, he didn't tell him he was allergic to pretzels because he didn't want to like inconvenience this, this, this him. This was this was a fake story. Yeah, and then so he ate the pretzels and ended up in the hospital with an allergic reaction because he didn't want to make Drake mad. Bye. It was a fake story though, but I want to believe it was right. <laughs> I feel like that's we'll so Nav. For the jokes. I love the good fake stories. But that sounds like something Nav would do. Yeah. But I mean, listen, <laughs> I'm excited to see, and I'm sure by next week we'll have more to talk about. But right now, Drake is he's on he, he's undefeated. He's on Instagram. Like he's up right now. Yeah, it's happening like as we're like yeah. it's talking. actually live. Drake was on his back on right foot now. too. That was very impressive. He was on his back People foot. People were counting him out. We're just kind of writing it off like well, even after we, like what that did we came say out. when we predicted if he was gonna respond or not? Did we say he was not? I don't remember. Did well we, say we said we, he should take his time, I think. Mm. And then I said that he should make Cole and Thing fight. Yeah, and then everybody yeah, from, yeah, and then yeah, we did. They it. neutralized each other. But Cole's like, a pussy. Cole killed himself. <laughs> Cole's a pussy. Yeah. Fact. And my thing is like, you understand nah, as a J. Cole Hip-hop. fan how painful that was. The worst <laughs> shit. 
That yo, that was yeah. Cool. To me, it's like it, rap beef is a part of hip hop. Yeah, facts. it is. It's a part of hip hop. It, it's an art to be able to you know send shots and argue through music. It it's a part of the user experience of being a hip hop fan. So for you, I'm not saying he took that away from his fans, but like for you to like go on the, your stage at your festival and cry for seven minutes about how you didn't want to. No one cares about you being a fucking conscious rapper, bro. Yeah. Drop some bars if you're sick. <laughs> Someone has to be blackmailing him because like, what? Like, shut up. No, no, no. It's a, it's a character. The next album's called The Fall Off. And then he was performing two no, days later and he was forgetting his lyrics and stuff. And like, he's just not look like he's falling. He said it's, the it's part this of is the, why I said I hate Remember when Jay the Cole weekend friends. taped up his face the, for like three years and stuff? Oh, and like, then was just, yeah. it, it's a kid. It's, it's, it's a fall bit. off. It's coming. It's a it's, bit. It's, this is why I hate Jay Cole There's something that's fans. happening. <laughs> Jay Cole fans try to make the most stupid shit up to try to sound smarter than everybody the else. About losing because his in his why, why do we think that he's this not that is, deep? He's not that This dude. is a part of the rollout. Like, he it's just, not. he's a pussy. Like, it is what it is. Like, you were scared, and you wanted to be the cautious, bigger person. J. Cole has person. never been, like, a hard body rapper. Yeah. Like, the man raps about, and I never did this before, no. I know, like, don't get me wrong. J. Cole can spit. He can no, spit, but he he's not hard. No, J. I mean, J. Cole, hard yeah, he's not yeah, a gangster like, yeah. rapper. He has, he's not, he's not talking about shooting niggas up. He's talking about losing his virginity in grade two. But two, the um, back 12. end of his <laughs> career. In his, in his brother's bed. That's what he raps about. It wasn't about. in his brother's bed. Where yes, does he say that? In, in, just, in the song where he said, I never did Yeah, he said it was When does he say bed. that he it's his sharing, brother's bed? Wasn't he brother's sharing bed. a bed and he, he wasn't no. in? No, no, that's no. not. You made, you made that up. I didn't. Okay, no, now this is hate. Like, you're just saying shit I like now. J. Cole. Okay. I like J. Cole, I like J. Cole too. I like J. Cole. Do you? What kind of backpedal? I hate J. Cole I fans. I like J. Cole, but he's not that nigga. I like nigga. J. Cole. I hate J. Cole fans. He's not that nigga, though. But he's not, yeah, he's not that he's guy. Not that As a guy who really likes the song Fold and Close... This was horrible. This I was, want to fold clothes. Oh, I, I am a J. Cole fan. I, like, I, I love J. Cole. <laughs> I thought you talked about you listen to his music while you fold clothes. I'm like, well, yeah. No, he's a song. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Clothing, fold, and music. <laughs> Honestly, he definitely has I'm Sunday disappointed. Music. I'm not going to And the lie. back end of his career really was, like, he really was spitting and trying to, like, prove, like, you know, I am, like, mm -hmm. one of the top, like, rapper rappers and, like, this is a moment for that. Like, this is exactly what you're talking about. You're better than everybody. You're killing every verse, every feature. And, like, just... And it was kind of okay. Like, 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 seven Minute Drill was cool, but then, like, I to feel like take being, it all back is very, yeah. like, bro. But I feel like being a rapper, like, isn't rap beef a part of the game? Like, I feel like as a rapper, if someone makes a song dissing you, like, you kind of just got to, okay... You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't think it's what you should take absolutely personally unless you're saying some crazy out-of-pocket shit. But you, you're you a rapper. You kind of, this is what comes to the territory. Like, the thing Pretty is, much all of the He made it seem do. like he didn't want to hurt Kendrick's feelings. And, but my, my but guy, like... But this track wasn't even that, like... Yeah. It wasn't, like, I wasn't like, oh, wow, oh, my God, J. Cole. It was like, oh, wow, Who's that's... Kendrick's or J. Cole? No, J. J. Cole's, Cole's this track. Oh, no, that wasn't good. I was just like... Okay. It, was, it was okay. It was, it was cool. all right. It was like, like I'm, I'm not gonna be like. It wasn't scathing. Oh. Like yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm was, just like oh okay. He tried to do the like he tried to do the takeover thing. He tried to be like this album was good. This album was trash. This one was worse. Then you bounce back or some shit like that. I was that. feeling like that part. Like I kind of a guy never liked the album that they think is the greatest album Which one? of all time. Who can To Pimp a Butterfly. Oh, To Pimp a Butterfly. Twelve Years a Slave. The album. Yeah. <laughs> Twelve oh, you're Years about that a one. Slave. The album. <laughs> 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 Damn, you were never a fan. I, I, and I Is like Kendrick. Like, I got a bone to pick. Yeah. Oh. I have never been speechless before. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing. I'm mad. He mad. <laughs> But, but I ain't stressed. Saxophone. <laughs> he has like a, he resurrected the ghost of Tupac for an interview that doesn't actually happen at the end of it. Like it's very, like it's cool, but like, bro, yeah. come. I got a bone a bit. This is the Pulitzer Prize. So are we all? Sweeps the white guilt awards. Like it's crazy. So is Good Kid, Mad City, his best album? Yes, yeah, yeah. that okay, is the good. best okay, album. Okay, so I just want to make sure we're all on the same page there. And damn is. <laughs> Yeah, I I think that Good Kid, Mad City is his best I album. I love Good Kid, Mad City. Damn that was, was the best album. Damn Damn's was great. Good. Damn's a great album. I it, like was, it wasn't. Yeah. It was okay. It, it was wasn't like amazing. I wouldn't call home to about pimp it. Mister Morales and the Step Twelve Steppers are big. Mister Mid and the Big Midders. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, <let> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this guy hates Kendrick. <laughs> yeah. You hate you Kendrick like, too. You, I hate Kendrick. You were saying something about fuck Kendrick. Kendrick. Yeah. I, said, <laughs> I put my favorite yeah. song of 2023 was Father Time. I like songs what, off what that album. You, I'm shitting. Didn't that. you say um, what's his name has better lyrics than Kendrick Lamar? Who, uh, uh, Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates. No, no I, you said that about I said J. Cole. Kevin Gates is more lyrical than J. Cole. 
Okay. Oh, okay, come on. Well, you guys don't listen to Kevin Gates. No well, one, no one I listen. got two phones. <laughs> that that Kevin Gates? For the low. That's like me saying wet dreams for J. Cole. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of the thing that people Everybody hang their hat on with Kendrick is the but lyricism. Is, yeah. He's lyrical. What is he like, ra- what is he anybody, about? if you want to like, if you want to uh, know what my point is, go listen to Perfect Imperfections by Kevin Gates and get back to Not me. the Gate Brigade. Yeah, he's yeah he's you're, you're doing a he's lot. He's a real gator. <laughs> but I mean... Listen, man. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see what Kendrick comes back with. I'm sure it's not gonna. Be, I, I don't I, think it's gonna. It's it gonna has be, to be a nuke. He has to like hit. Like, he has to do it. He like, has to, it's, it has to be some Pusha T style. He like, can't charged up and then this. Like no, he needs to come with it on the first one. And it nah, needs man. To, he needs. He needs. He. Has, but Drake he has said, to. "Don't make the demon up. Don't make the demon but up." But I wonder what T he has on him. What did Drake do? Thank you. Okay, yes, please. <laughs> Can do? someone give me a quick rundown? It's got to like, be more Travis than just Scott is involved with girls, in this yeah. somehow, and I don't know where the little crossover episode Travis happened. Travis is involved. Travis is he, cool. Wasn't dude. he shooting that little thing that looked like Travis Scott at his show for that the past? That was before. That was before. That was before. No, it wasn't before. So, no, it wasn't. No, it was, it was like recently. That. It was before like that. So what? What? He's been is, doing it his whole tour. But why? Not, it, he never did that. Not the one with um. Not the Toronto not Ke- one. with J Cole. Not the one that came to Toronto. The J-, J Cole one. He's been doing it the whole time. But why? Oh, okay. It's not like Travis Scott. It's just part of the drama. It's just part of the drama. It. Yeah, that's it. What, what people? What have, drama? Part of the no, drop. part of the drop, like the drama like the, of like I think, the, I think the, it's the, the theater. I think it's when sickle mode. Yeah, sickle mode. He's just it, saying it's, it's, it's like drama, drama for like the the theater. The part so, of the drop. Okay, when the song drops. Oh, sorry. What did he do? Well, it's two what things. What did he do to get them niggas that mad? Yeah. I agree. What happened? It's probably two things. He's probably fucking uh, dudes, girls, Fair. or they're mad because he's number one. I can't think of anything To the else. point that they're just going to click up like this and do two album Are you pussy niggas linking up? No, like, that 20 is... versus one. He's, they're jumping his, yeah. his ass. And it's well, not working. <laughs> it's not working. Because he's eating them up. What the fuck is this? A 20 I v really did not nigga? expect that. Like, that was like... Well, a... we know what the Metro beef is. What's the Metro what beef? Is the what, metro? what is, is the metro it exactly? Is that gal? No. The Metro beat. Have you guys know the song Trance on the last album? I swear mm. it was before. Like, that doesn't even really make sense for it to be this far because of that. Well, on, on the Metro album, I don't hear about any beef between them before that. Mm. Okay, okay, so what, what is I the theory so. that you have with the song Trance? So the song Trance on Metro's last album, I think it's just Travis Scott on it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. But Drake was supposed to be on that song. Okay. Um, I think... Metro was trying to prove himself by getting a number one without Drake. That's mm. how he was explaining it in an interview later. Mm. But he removed Drake kind of like last minute from the song. Mm. Drake's camp got mad, so they leaked the song. And so if you look it up, trance Drake, a lot of people are like, oh, shit, this is fire. Then they start hitting Metro. Like, why didn't you drop this? Why didn't you drop this? Mm. Um, and then, yeah, in that same interview I'm talking about, Metro sounded like really salty about Drake, mm. and then yeah. after, word, 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 word. and then afterwards, I think a few months later, maybe him and Fu- that's kind of related. Then you know the whole thing with Future was supposed to do a drop a drop a tape together. Him and Future again? They were supposed to. Yeah, right? I, I swear. Oh. I, yeah, I remember then, that was supposed to happen. And then that changed to him and Twenty One dropping mm. the tape. Instead. It's because yeah. Metro. Is it because him and Metro are like besties? Met Future and Metro. I don't know. Future and Metro kind of, but Twenty One. Twenty One and Metro, and Metro are sure, very close for sure. Yeah, that's interesting. And so then you're taking him away, and so now they're drawing lines in the sand, and then it turned into a civil war thing. That's civil mm. war. <laughs> if it started with trance, that's crazy. I felt like it I'm had to be something sure deeper Metro than that. And Drake but I mean, with Drake that. said in the song, like, this is not. It's been brewing for a while. Yeah. Like now, it's in the like he's saying like this beef is not new. Like it's been. I think there's tweets from like 2020 that no. Metro is like like praising Drake. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. So like couldn't be before that. No no no. I don't think it's been brewing. I think probably in the, like last year or so. I would say. Right and then that and then album's Rick two Ross years old. Just yeah. Doesn't like him. Yeah. Where the hell did Rick oh, Ross no, come from? He did the oh the cease, cease and desist, desist to yes, French Montana. With French Montana. Because there was a track. He was on a track with French Montana. I think and they were gonna release it. And then Drake didn't want it released, so he sent him a cease and desist. So Rick Ross is like, mm-hmm. you're the feds. Yeah. And, and then, then he unfollowed him. He unfollowed but isn't Rick him. Ross an actual fed? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he was a CEO. And we learned that, right? He was like, a CEO. Yeah. Well, that was and, public knowledge. Yeah, and, everyone knew that. That he was yeah. a federale. Yeah, so I'm confused. Like, and what there's is, levels to the Rick Ross stuff, too. And then he unfollowed him, and then he got, I guess, he's like, that's why I followed you, nigga, because you're the feds. Which is so whack. And like, would you, are, you are you a gal? And there's levels to the Rick Ross stuff, too, because he's been beefing with Birdman. Um, oh. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. And so. Meek Mill, like all the people around him and shit. Yeah, that's but my true. thing is, but with the, yeah, and we're, we're just gonna be straight. Drake's better than all these guys. 
Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not, to, to me, not future. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll let you guys say the rest, but not future. To me, uh, Drake <laughs> is better than all these guys. And when I say that, let's, let's just keep it a band. Whether you like Drake or not, if you had to choose whose music to keep yeah. on your phone, you're not deleting Drake. I'm telling you. Uh, you're we not. We gonna be all. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no. Like, I, 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 when people bring that up, it's like, that's always my argument. I, if you had to choose I to can, delete. I can confidently say. You would delete all Drake music I off your phone? I don't listen to Drake like that anyway. Wow. I actually don't listen to Drake. Who even like listen Drake? To? You don't listen to any of these people. First of all, I also say Future. I would keep Future. You, so you always say you, you don't keep to Future, future anymore. I, not anymore, but I love all of uh, Future's discography. Who do you listen to now? Future, Out of future, all of them? The only who, person who I would... Now. I can understand this I listen this to Future take, more than honest, Drake, though. Like, all right, all right, Way right. more than Drake. All I will right. listen to a one-two Future track right, more right. than Drake. And right. I, Future's discography changed my life. So okay, <laughs> changed your life. They changed my life. <laughs> Wait, why are we saying? Come on. What, what? No, you know your why. Life. You know why. Dirty okay. spray changed your life. It Shit. did. All right. It did. Listen here, brother. No, okay. So I was like a really big rap purist. Like I didn't listen to anything but like '90s boom bap. Like I refused. Like, like yeah, I was very much like, oh, this these kids nowadays are making this horrible music. I heard. March Madness for the first time. Mm-hmm. I heard 56 Nights. Yeah. When I tell you my life changed that day, it was like yeah, a, it, was, it was like I um, the sky got brighter. Yeah. My life oh, got yeah. better. I don't know if I could delete 56 Nights. Ha- ha- right? Pea coats, my nigga. Hell yeah. Listen, I could not. I spent a check I saw, on that. I went, to, I went to Jungle <laughs> Tour and Future opened. I almost left when Drake came out because I was only there for Future. Okay, yeah, no, let's backpedal because I'm not Beautiful. deleting. Uh, March Future, Madness. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Future's discography. Even if like what you're saying, like, if, my you, life. if you can only listen to one person for the rest of your life, Future's future. got way no, more music. No, not rest of your life. I'm just future. saying, if, out of all these guys in the beef, if you had to delete, you to, if you had to pick a side and delete all the other person. I don't know, is Kanye in this beef? No, no, no. Kanye's no, 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 no. beef no. himself. Because he's the only he's one his own that I would delete Drake's music to keep Kanye's. Yeah. Kanye didn't even pick a side. We saw his tirade. He's like, fuck everyone. He's fighting his own damn self, child. Yeah. But I'm just saying that, okay, maybe if Futures, you that, if I would one keep would Futures. Delete. So my thing is, if you pick, if you pick. Out of all the beefing niggas. Out of all the beefing niggas, mm. if you pick a side, you have to delete. All the, of their shit? Yeah. Drake oh, that's shit. easy. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> no, but I'm saying if you pick. Bro, he's not part of the beef, bro. If you oh, pick okay. Kendrick, you have to apologize. delete all the Drake stuff. Oh. You see what I mean? You gotta yeah, delete. Yeah, yeah. If so you my pick point someone who is, isn't Drake, you have to delete uh, all yeah. their music. So my thing is, no one's choosing to delete Drake's music. I will. You'll side with Future to delete all of Drake's? 100%. Wait, you'll pick Kendrick over Drake's Did I say Kendrick or Future? <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my Sorry. God. Listen, no, Some actually, bitch. like, I know, I know you guys think I'm dramatic, but, like, I actually, like, I was, I'm a really big, I was a big Future I fan. I love Future, too. That's I why really I'm, a, like, I'm a little fan. stuck with that one. If I no, like, I get it. Like, I don't think it's a crazy thing to say. Like, uh, I, yeah, like, I, I'm actually, like. Taking Future over Drake. I stopped, I only stopped listening to Future because his music future. got repetitive to me. Over Drake? It, like, it didn't, it didn't sound, it wasn't, it wasn't changing my life the way it was before. Like, you know, like, his mixtapes, every time he had a new mixtape, it felt like something new and fresh. He created, he just created something beautiful. Nah, right? guys, I'm not. But t- after nah. he got comfortable, like I feel like he just stopped. The, the creativity kind of died. Don't get it. too comfortable. Yeah, I was well, you got it. But <laughs> you know, but I will. I will, I would choose Future's discography over Drake any day. Sorry. Really? Sorry. I'm not a big, like huge Drake fan like that. But Drake has so much good he music. He does, but like it's not. It, Drake's it never, like in my top five, but Future's like number one. Hello. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so is Drake number two? He's past, bro. He's Drake, like, when we talk about future, he's past. What's my number? What's my top five? My top five is future number one, <laughs> Lil Wayne number two. Sorry, that's a little bit alarming. Okay. Can't lie. Future number one is kind of a little bit alarming. A little I'm bit. I'm being honest with myself. You're putting he's... future even over Kanye? Yeah. Is Kanye, Kanye in your top five? Yeah. Kanye number three, Jay-Z number four. Drake number five? I mean, I can respect yeah. that. I don't know if I'm and respecting... And then number five, yo, Gunna might be there now. I, Over Drake? No, I already put Drake. Did Are I you like it? talking about like what you're like listening to Drake right now and stuff? Or you, said future, right? you said future one, <laughs> Future's Lil Wayne two, Jay Z. Oh no no no, Jay-Z. Drake Drake three. Okay, Jay Z four. No, no. Kanye Jay Z. There you go. That's top five. Okay okay. Yeah, shout out my nigga yeah. Gucci. I feel- <laughs> <Shout out laughs> my- Good reference. Good reference. 
Eminem? Gucci, yeah, Gucci, Gucci Mane? <laughs> yeah. And they were talking about lists and rapping. Like, yeah, yeah. Because like, oh, that list is a little bit nuts, so, but I... Right. So yeah. that's the only reason I'm conflicted, because I actually like Future a lot. But Future doesn't even seem to care that much. He just... No. He just seems to be riding for Metro. Like, yeah. yeah. If you're a Metro, don't trust me. You're going to shoot me. Yeah. He meant it. That's if it. you're a Metro, don't that trust me. That nigga got him out of jail in Dubai. I mean, hey... No, no, Esco. No, Esco. 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 Same Esco. thing. It's not the same, <laughs> same thing. Okay. It's the same thing. I don't know if it's the same thing. You know really what's crazy? actually probably the same people until like right now. Metro and Esco? That's crazy. Whoa. What happened to Esco? Where is Esco? He's still in yeah. Dubai. No. <laughs> <laughs> Still locked up. <laughs> no. That nigga still locked he up. He was only locked yeah. up for 56 nights, you idiots. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like four I years really ago. I really don't think she I listened did. to 56 nights. No, you did it. <laughs> I did, I did, I did. Oh I did. my God. But you know what it is? I'm actually really... Just, he's still I, in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> no, but literally, where's Esco? No, where's Esco? Esco? He's, uh, he's doing his residency at Magic City like always. Like, Wait, what? What? Is he actually the DJ? Like he's Magic actually like, City Mondays. Still? Yeah. I think so. No, he's why not. Is he, why is he not like... There's no way DJ Esco is sitting in the Magic City booth spinning. When's the you last time so? he like no, dropped come something? On. One time my school hired him for like a like a frosh event. Oh, oh no, yeah, he's yeah. really that now? Like, and I mean, this was like, years and years ago. He does though, like so. Vegas The last time too, I like, remember yeah. him was running, 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 yeah, running, yeah, running, yeah, running, 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 that. And then he had that album with too much sauce. And, and he had, didn't he do that, 100 that racks? That album's sick. Mm -hmm. this is a really did he do 100 racks? Was that yeah. 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 his Yes, yes, yes. You want me to get rid of Future's discovery? If you play that in a Honda Civic, you'll explode it. You want me to get rid of Future's discovery? You guys are sick. You people are sick. a Honda Civic? I've been there. Nah, man. What's like your top three Future albums then? Top three Future albums? Okay. Dirty Sprite. Two has to be on there. No, number one is Monster. Like I'm, I'm, I'm including Monster, Monster over Beast Mode. Yeah, yeah, number one yeah, is Monster. Monster. I like Beast Mode two more than Beast Mode one. Fair. Me too. Me too. Um, Fair. Meet yeah. the real me is a generational yeah. song. Number one is Monster. Number two is the the story of Hendrix. No, no. Number two is Hendrix. Mm -hmm. H N D R X X over Dirty Sprite. Yeah, Dirty Sprite Two is when Dirty Sprite Two is like his 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 no. welcome to the yeah. world. You know what I mean? I'm still stupid. And it's hard. generational. Yeah, yeah it's cool. I love that generational album. talent. It's cool. And then you know what? I'll I'll give number three DS Two. Okay, I, I almost no want, way DS Two. I almost wanted want to do Lean because of that nigga, bro. Like, all right, Shans. Yeah. I, listen, I was listen. It was 2016, 2017. You almost went on the dark web. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What yeah. dark web? We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about that. Not Do here. we think that this is gonna be one of the rap best rap beefs? No. No. Hell no. Niggas are apologizing and shit. <laughs> 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 terrible. Aside, aside from J Cole doing what he did and messing up the, the I don't play. think I don't think it is. I think it's I think you know what you know um what's the last thing? It's a great time. What's it's the last the thing that Drake ever. dropped? His last. Album? I said one of the not the best. I said one of the, the best. Dogs. For all the dogs. So you see dogs. how like he dropped again because everyone's like, what the fuck was that? And he yeah. tried to come again saying, I don't know what the fuck to rap about. Now this nigga found something to rap about. Oh, so he's rapping yeah. again. Mm, I think yeah. this is going to bring Drake back to being like that hungry Drake that we love. But it's yeah. not going to be the greatest rap beef. Who is he fighting? Himself? He's fighting Future, Metro. No, but like, I mean, like, who is he? F like, no one has, like, Drake's, from me saying Drake's diss is like the best diss I've heard in a while. A, a battle has to be like, it has to be mm, even. Like, I right, have to be right. like, Hearing mm. it, well, we have to wait for another Kendrick response. Because Kendrick said nothing. Kendrick said nothing. He I actually said what did, zero well, in his... Well, academics tweeted that, what, we're on day two or three of Kendrick not... Re oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not saying that he's saying nothing after what the What top five you smoking on? <laughs> yeah. I'm saying he said nothing on like that. He said oh, nothing. Yeah. Aside yeah, like, from, I, I he said, I'm Kendrick's Prince and you're Michael Jackson. Prince, yeah. Mike, Jack, and the, there's no know. big I'm three, it's yeah. big me. I'm and what else your did he dogs say? like I'm Chinese. Or he Pet said something. Cemetery. No, he didn't. Oh, he didn't say that? He did oh, not say that. He didn't say that part. My fault. My what the hell? Did he say that? What okay, my fuck, bad. man. Did you hear okay. that? <laughs> I did. He, he did not say that. My bad, my bad. No, he What's that? Nobody said anything close to that. Oh, like, yeah, what the hell? He says all your dogs getting buried in the cemetery. In the pet, not too yeah, hall. Bye bye bye. Okay. Bye. And then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. He He's, did not have he the Chinese dog bar word, word play, and then that's it. So you put China in the mix? Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, like how? Where did it? <laughs> that's 
just to eat at your dog. What like made you go with Chinese. that verse? <laughs> like, like what the hell? Hell? You you are an AI ghostwriter. <laughs> no, actually, you are the AI ghostwriter for Kendrick, bro. What the hell? Welcome to Compton. Kendrick comes back with that bar. You better copyright that. Figure out a way to copyright that. If Kendrick's a your dogs like some Chinese, I will lose it. Oh, I have to bleep that out. Why? I'll get this AK when act comes. You're going to need more than that, Kendrick, for the drop and give me 50. I don't right, know right. if Drake, uh, Kendrick has it in him. I don't know. He, I think he has it in him. Will it happen? Will it execute? He's doing memes and everything. Everyone's loving it. Like, it's getting away from you. You're on the clock. Like, let's he see. Yeah. Let's Even see. Jada and Stefan Dawes weren't entertaining. Them niggas was back to back to yeah, back to back Jada to back. was like, like bomb, that was bomb, a beef. Bomb. It was ping pong. Like, like, I know people might think I'm being like facetious, but like, I actually think that was like one of the best like rap beefs I've seen in a while only Girl, because it's not a rap beef it's a dance hall clash a dance hall clash but you know what man it was it was it's it's Stefan Don's a rapper but like in that way a battle that's how it should be it should be back to back to back to back like you nigga like bro I should be like I shouldn't have to I can't rest I shouldn't rest yeah there yeah. should be time for us to talk about it yeah and then days later there's something else happening yeah it sh- we should be have like Five this is to talk about. What right kind now. of rules are those? That's some ADS that, beef. But that, that's <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> that's what a battle is. What do you mean? But that's what a battle is. Why was it like that? Why was it, when, like when that? Was it like that? Ten beefs, ten songs in two days. Bro, I'm, be, I'm, I'm being dramatic, but like, you know what, what I mean? What do you know? Back Bro, back. why am I waiting two weeks to hear you respond? That's to him? what it used to be. No, it used to be months. No. Okay. It did it? Two weeks no. isn't that bad for <laughs> a diss track. Long. What are we talking about? I'm How so long tired. Music when did Ether drop? When did Takeover drop? Bro, did they have Twitter? That's what I mean. It's some new age shit, but you're acting like this is classic hip hop. <laughs> yeah, but like, I, but okay. You know what? I change. I change what I say. Okay. okay? <laughs> you cannot come back two weeks later with a weak diss and then go apologize fair, on that fair. stage. Yeah. Facts. Facts. You can't be doing that. If you are gonna take a long time, where, you're gonna go. Yeah, do, nuclear bomb. Nuclear. Bo- like I need to hear like like push it. <laughs> I will never get over that. That push it and Drake. That was. I'm telling you, yo, the story that of was added on had me on the floor. Nuclear. On, yeah. That was a nuclear bomb. You guys bomb. tried to tell me that wasn't that Did you try to tell me it wasn't bomb. that good? Are you guys kidding I'm me? Saying, like, I it was it a chess day. play, like the whole like rollout in the revelation of like. Tick, tick, tick. You know, that boy is sick, sick, sick. That's crazy. Oh, Lord. That made me sick to my stomach. Yeah, I know. That's insane. Let the world know who you chose as your Beyonce. Jesus. Are you kidding me? The center still on knows her. better. Ugh. The scent is still <laughs> so, so, on yeah, her. Yeah, even that's like a, probably a bigger moment than this. Yes, yeah. I would so, say that. Yeah. But this to me is still. This is probably it's up there. It's but cool. It's his best. It's cool. This is Drake's best. This is Drake's track. bestest track. I will it say is. that. We'll agree to disagree. I don't know about the beef. You the, really think back to back is better? Back to back. Yeah. Yeah. Even two birds, one stones. Like I try. Like that's like no. I think you have to play Kid it again. Cudi is I such an easy heard. fucking <laughs> object to step on, though. <laughs> Like, oh wait, what? The man said Kid Cudi is an easy <laughs> object to step on. Nobody likes Kid Cudi. <laughs> <laughs> like, why is him and Childish Gambino beefing now? Are they? Yeah. yeah, yeah Who yeah, cares, yeah, though? Yeah, Who cares yeah, about yeah. both of them? Donald We're, Glover and... That's some artsy nigga beef. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what are they going to do? Pull each other's earrings out? They <laughs> steal each other's... They're going to steal each other's tabbies? Yeah. Like, tabbies. the fuck? Like, what the hell? They're going to take each other's Margiela's? <laughs> like, <laughs> who cares about oh, Kid brother. Cudi and Childish Gambino beef? They're like, going to write poems. Them, literally. <laughs> Back and forth. Like, the fuck? Like, who wears a shorter crop top? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, let, wow, let's have some like real beef. Kendrick drops some shit. Yeah. 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 It, to me, it's just nowhere near the best beef of all time. No, 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 no. no. I'm just saying, do you think yeah. it has potential to be one of I've the best I've had more beef my mailman, bro. <laughs> I don't think so either, because you really wanted... Because this is just pure, like, rap Olympics shit, like... Nothing's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you need that threat of violence to be up there. You know? Yeah, you know, oh, you. niggas don't shoot no more. No, and we don't want them to. Oh yeah, That's we don't. Not, we don't want them. Oh wait, to. yeah, you're right. You're right. And, you're and right. We want not raps, true. not we don't gunshot. Not, we want. This is not 1995, 96. Yeah. I don't want no. Right, but like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, PG-13. Sorry. No, I don't want. No, I don't I want to crash the fuck out. That's no, what I want. No. No, <laughs> no we the don't fuck? want anyone to crash tweet, out please. over. Tweet, yeah, this, is, this is a good type of music. This is music. Yeah, yeah. You want to say this? Just keep it, yeah. keep keep it PG. PG. I don't want, yeah. Please, please. listen to me. But, I mean, I like they are going to cross territory because Metro and Future Ooh. announced today yeah. that they're 
They're going Drake on has tour. Drake opportunity to do the funniest thing. And it's called We Trust You. And the Toronto Wait, is it date, We Don't Trust You? No, the, the tour is called We, oh, Trust, we Trust You. Oh, wow. Well. Did you notice that? I didn't notice that. I, noticed, I think I, I just read past me if I'm wrong, yeah. but I'm pretty sure the I tour is we called We Trust, trust you. you. No, the tour is called We, we Trust, trust you. you. No, We, we trust, trust You is the tour name. <laughs> is the tour name. I'm, I'll double check, but Drake I'm pretty sure I noticed that. opportunity to do the funniest thing. And what is that? Well, yeah, what is that? Anything. That nigga. That nigga. Hey, but you're making it sound like a specific thing. That nigga, just anything. That man could do. We what? trust you, right? Yeah. He's, funniest she's, thing. She's saying if he if he does OVO Fest four days before. Yeah. Oh, like OVO. Yeah. Like Drake yeah. has opportunity yeah. to do the funniest yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. But strategically, it's always good to go after. Yeah, but that I'm guessing like they planned that ahead or before to go to here after OVO. Mm. That's, but no, that's actually, bold, the list man. doesn't make What's sense. Bold? Them. Well, yeah. their date for Toronto is August this, 11th. But. And if Drake does OVO Fest, he would be August 6th, I believe, or 7th, mm. something like that. Yeah, because it's the first Civic Weekend. Yeah. I mean, the first Monday. I'm, listen, 6th. what do we, people think that, you think Toronto's going to stand down? No, no, no. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen at Scotiabank. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't mean like happen. Do you, do you remember I mean, when you Meek Toronto... came here on tour in the middle of all that and just dreams and nightmares? Everyone was just. Yeah, like I'm saying, do you oh. think Toronto's gonna stand down? As in, like, push a T almost got support. jumped. Like, oh no, yeah. they're coming, they're coming. Mm, you think Toronto? He'll I still think, sell out. I think yeah. he'll still sell out. Are they going to Scotia Bank? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're doing Scotia Bank. Yeah. Shit. I think he'll, I think they'll sell it out. They'll sell it out. That's at the I time of the helps. year where everybody's tired and they're like, not gonna pull a push a T where they spend where they throw all their drinks on the stage. They're not. Nah, because push a T people love future. Push a T was performing at like freaking damn some yeah some like. 500 person cat place <laughs> <laughs> like with no security. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Doing and clip people songs love and future. then just muting half of it. Like <laughs> and people forget like this is wait, what? <laughs> That's cr- <laughs> This is future we're talking about. So yeah, I think nah, he's, people he's, will he still yeah, yeah. People still love They'll future. sell out and Metro Boomin is a big draw too. Yeah. So I'm I'm sure it'll sell out. And it actually this beef will actually help it help do it. better. Yeah, yeah. Because mm. people are going to want to go just to see any type of mix up that might arise. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. like, I mean, but can he diss him in the Golden City? I mean, that'd be bold. Yeah. I mean, hey, man. All fair. What is all fair in hip hop? Love yeah. and war. But, so, yeah, but Drake, I'm going Drake, too far. So Drake can go to, to Atlanta shoot. and love and war. Yeah. Drake <laughs> can go to Atlanta and sell out in there, too. For sure. Didn't he say that? I saw a few warning shots. Yeah, he said he's bigger in Atlanta than Future and bigger than... What was he talking yeah. about? We, we talking talk about Kendrick. Kendrick? We're talking about Kendrick. Which one did he say? Okay. I thought he was talking about Kendrick. He was talking about Kendrick. Because I don't know about Atlanta than Future. I don't know if God's bigger, bigger than, than Future. He's probably in, bigger in, in LA than Kendrick. Yeah. No, 100%. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah but I thought that was weird. You know, the, I, like, <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think he's probably bigger in LA I'm than I'm bigger than LA and Kendrick, bro. Okay, stop. relax, I think LA people still love Kendrick. I don't think they like him, you know? You know, oh, I, I did, did a like video. Kendrick. I did a video. You did, yeah. I did a video. Did they like him? My I did a video, video where I just got beat up when this. Yeah, yeah. where I asked everybody like uh, in LA, like this is years ago when Damn dropped, um, and people were saying, "Oh, Kendrick's the king now." So I went to LA and I asked people like, "Who do you prefer, Kendrick or Drake?" And it was a, it was kind of close, but Drake won mm, out yeah. of like 20, 30 I, people. I, 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 I believe it. I, some dudes I, did people try to love Drake, yo. Yeah, some dudes people forget, people me. love <laughs> Drake. He's in Japan, bro. Like the man wasn't joking. Like, them but Japanese, he has a point. Like he's he's world. He's is Mr. Future Worldwide. going on world tours? No, 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 no one's gonna. No. Go is Kendrick even going on America world tours? Man. Kendrick can't do like arenas in. No, his tour was a world tour. Kendrick, well, not mm-hmm. in Big Steppers thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but in Japan. No. Oh, like overseas, overseas. No. Yeah, he'll yeah, go to, yeah, wait, what, yeah. Do you, what do you mean by world? I, I mean he, world he tours arenas in, like, in America, like, yeah. yeah. He'll go to like... like uh, O2, he can? not Yeah, London? yeah, he'll go but to he England. Can, you yeah. think Kendrick can sell out the O2? He yeah, did. yeah, yeah, yeah. He if did? you do Canada, think, yeah. America, and he UK, can, that's, a, that's a world tour. He can, but he can't do like Czech Republic or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Drake could probably do that shit. I want to know. Uh, let me look at his. I feel like Drake can go to like a remote island, like yeah. Thailand and some shit, and yeah. just sell it out. I feel like Drake. Drake yeah. can do that. He can do. I Japan. feel like Kendrick Lamar went to Thailand. Drake People probably do India. Yeah, he can. Drake, if Rihanna yeah. can do, Drake can do India. Drake for sure. can do. There's. I don't and think. No, there's he. Like, no, no, no. Kendrick did. Netherlands, Czech, Germany, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, France. He did an he did, he did an remember, arena there. Remember, those white kids are like very he did an like arena obsessed there? with rap. Like he did all these places more than once. They're very arena. He did an they arena there. love rap. Arena? Because I'll shut up. <laughs> no, but but mucho. Remember, but one second, I, one second. Okay, Switzerland. I don't know if that was an arena because that's was, six thousand people. That is not. Know, you know, that's not no. Everything there. else is uh, like eleven thousand plus, and then like. But even eleven is eleven. No, eleven thousand is not 11, arena either. Is not an arena here. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe not. Arena has to be 20K plus, I believe. 
Okay, then his then his European shit isn't. Yeah. Oh, you know. Some he's of them not, are. Some of them are. But yeah. most of them are he's like probably 15. Doing, did he do? He probably did O2, though. He probably yeah. he did, did like O2. He did O2. the equivalent yeah. of the. O2 is only 12,000. That's really? it? There's more than one O2, though. It depends on which O2. There's one in Bristol. There's, <laughs> There's like five O2s. Really? In London. Yeah, they have bare venues. They have Wembley bare right? venues. Okay. okay, well, I think that That's anything like under Brixton? 20K is not a. Re- any, yeah, yeah, I would say. He did, he did both. Brixton and. Yeah, the 48. Thousand yeah, Forty-eight yeah, yeah, thousand. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. a big that makes arena. Sense. Like, yo, people in England yeah, buy tickets that's, though. That's they they that's go to shows because yeah. like when they come out there, it's like that's your that's chance. your chance that's to your, see that's them. Because remember, chance. they don't go there enough, enough. Oh, and you know shit. what? I'll give this to Kendrick. He did. He did Ronda. Actually, he went to Ronda. But this w- was the most. This is the highest grossing like tour hip hop wise ever too. Yeah, like the big step. I can really. Yeah. But remember, white kids are big I rap actually, fans. I gotta take that back. I can't hate on Kendrick's international draw. He yeah, he's, like, yeah, he's he's he is. Yeah, I take that back. Number two. Yeah. When I went mm-hmm. to so his that, shows, that bar was probably towards future. When I went to his shows, oh. like before he was big, big, it was just bare white people. So like they love because they love rap music, right? And you know what? I asked this that you know, genre, that surgical and, wordplay. Yeah, like, they love yeah. that kind of rap. And that reminds me of this. I, I think I asked this on Twitter not too long ago, but like, I was like, who, who would, like, what would be a higher percentage of black fans? A Drake show or a Kendrick show? Drake. 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 And Wait, what'd you say, sir? Who, who would have, would a have higher the percentage? higher percentage of black people at a show? A Drake show or a Kendrick show? Drake. Yeah. Uh, it's Drake. a Drake show. It's a Drake, Drake. show. Well, if Americans have made it this far through the episode, the shout Swifties. out to y'all. We're just... So, so it's so I mean, funny. You don't see Drake on a Taylor Swift and Maroon 5 track. So. You do see him in Apple commercials with her. That's yeah. true. Uh, yeah, so, but my, there's a lot of white people at Drake shows, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, white yeah. moms love Drake. Yeah, but it's it's even... <laughs> they do. My, my, my mom went to a Drake show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's even higher at a Kendrick show. Yeah. White people? Yeah. Yes. I got a bone with a pick. <laughs> yes. But white people love King Kunta. They, they love those. It's King they Kunta, lo- you idiot. Is King it King Kunta? Kunta? It's King Kunta. King Kunta. It's Kunta. It's Kunta. Why you call me an idiot, Can you dog? please say what is King Kunta? Remember that? I'm talking about walking. No, we're not talking. It's King Kunta. It's King Kunta. It's King Kunta. It's Kunte. It's Kunta. It's Kunta. It's you and I was talking. It's King Kunta Zoe. It's Kunta Zoe. King Kunta. I think it's pronounced Kunte. King Kunte. That's racist. That's right. King Kunta. Kunte. Like Kente class? Like Kente class, bro? King Kunta. Yeah, there you go. Now it sounds better, don't it? King Kente. When I went to... Oh, Kunta Kente is what I'm thinking about. That's what the song's kind of like. Kunta Kente's not racist. It's, not, it's, no, it's, it's just not. the name that Toby got in Roots. But, <laughs> okay. You, something's wrong with you, Yo, man. that's deep. It's not wrong. I'm answering the question. Why do you mean there's something wrong with me? No, I didn't say there's something wrong. <laughs> just you have that information readily right available. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Why did you just know that off top like that? I know random shit. Okay, anyways, go ahead. So, <laughs> the reason <laughs> the reason I'm saying you like Kid Kunta because you were in Thunder Bay is what... <laughs> I know it, at the bars, not in your iPhone. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cause when I went to Guelph and I went to the bars there, they're playing King Kunta. When they're the running dropped, that, eh? They loved King Kunta. They love it. That was the only hip hop song they would play, and then they would go back to. Yeah, bro. Trust like, me, white people his, love Kendrick It's Lamar. funny how they try to go at Drake from an angle, and who who knows if he is or he isn't. He's not a real nigga. Blah blah blah. But then you go to a show and it's more black people at the Drake, Drake show shows. than the Kendrick 100%. show. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Kendrick is not. Kendrick yeah. looks like it looks like it looks like a, a country show. The amount of white people in that bitch, bro. <laughs> like mm-mm. Is Kendrick Ken- or Luke Bryan. <laughs> you don't know. No, that ass. And they the, that's the thing. But like white fat like rap fans are like mostly majority white. Like, yeah. yeah, this is like, this is well, they're the ones that reality. spend like these tickets and everything, money. like that makes them their multi million dollar payday on their tours and stuff. It is exactly. white people like, buying that's the, why little baby can't do arena tours because white people don't, facts. like, yeah, mm. yeah, you're right. NBA and Young Boy is the highest streaming musician on YouTube, Jesus Christ, because of his tickets because white people like no, it. No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. NBA is the NBA Young Boy is the highest streaming musician on YouTube because mm-hmm. niggas can afford YouTube, it's free. <laughs> 
<laughs> the black Air Force dudes that when they they turn on the TV and yeah, they just put YouTube exactly. on in the background, they can't afford the three hundred dollar floor to seats. Be fair. Or the, so, so, you know what? Let me land. Let me land. Let me land. Let me land. I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. But let me land. Let me land. So, but I'm saying he can't go on an arena tour. Yeah. And be a young boy? No. No. He can't do that. He has like open for somebody. Even though he has the highest streams on YouTube. So white people are paying for these tickets. You're right. You're dead Kendrick's ass. following the bag. Why is he on that song with Maroon Five? And, right. and make Swifties. it witty. Yeah, and the Swifties. And the Swifties. Make it witty. John you know, Lucas like, going crazy overseas. Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Bro, like, Zen, like but, accidental racism. I don't know that. I'm just being. Shit. Yeah. But like, I mean, bare hood mans. Like, if you talk to like a lot of hood mans, like they'll say they've never been to a concert before. Like, I've met a oh, lot of sure. them who have yeah. never even been to a show before. Like, yeah. like no joking. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's not for the real fans. The concert. Concerts yeah. are not for the real, usually not. Because they get priced out, especially now with Ticketmaster foolishness. Mm -hmm. It's they for get people with a lot out. of disposable income. <laughs> That's why the dollar in the Dream Tour was great, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. that was a good time. That was a good yeah, time. and we're never going to get that again. <sighs> mm -hmm. But, I mean, now we got uh, the WNBA... They're Yay! raising their ticket prices because two hours, two topics. <laughs> really? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah, we gotta we gotta move. But anyways, WNBA <laughs> with tickets. <laughs> Kate, now Caitlin Clark is apparently making tickets skyrocket. She was the number one pick in the WNBA draft. Mm -hmm. Apparently, tickets for her to verse, I think New York was twenty dollars before she got drafted. Now they're one hundred and thirty. Damn. Oh, the Caitlin Clark effect. Yeah. That's yeah. And yeah. they posted the salaries. Of the WNBA oh, players. Should, that was nasty. That was mean. Starting at $78,000 a year. Oh. oh For the number one pick. Yeah, Caitlin Clark's yeah. thing first is like 78 and or 79 And was like 70 something. It was a little bit less. Yeah. yeah. Like but they were not, yeah. But they and, were both in 70K. And Ice Cube offered her 5, five million, million for 10 for games. 10 games. And she's yeah. got to go play 82 for, for 70? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why. No, they don't play 82 No, they don't. Do they, was like, do they play 82? I don't know. No, they play for a summer. It's like... It's like fifty or something. Oh, yeah. I'm trying but to. I'm trying to 78K watch. Seventy eight k is like people are arguing. Is that a lot of money? It's not to do what they're doing. It's, it's not. It's not a lot of money at so, all. So what? But obviously, people have to support and buy tickets. And well, apparently, her jersey's already sold out. Good. I hope. I hope that goes towards it. And like, I, people are like upset about it, and I get it, and it sucks because they're like there is people in tech that make more than that. But of course, you have to understand. Like, I was looking at the stats last year's WNBA draft had maybe like. 200,000 people and this year had like what 2 million people mm -hmm. that watched the draft mm -hmm. so like it's all up to like keeping this momentum like don't let it just die down because oh, okay now don't let it be a moment don't yeah. let it be a moment yeah, yeah, yeah. like a trend like if you actually want to see these girls get paid we have to come out and support like we do the NBA like that's, that's why like no, 100%. E even doing this like having like how many times have we talked about women's basketball WNBA no, and right. stuff in the last few episodes and stuff like I, I want to keep up with like Ball that like I like good basketball, so yeah. it's like it should be a thing like that. If you're do we a think Caitlin Clark Caitlin should enjoy? It. Do we think Caitlin Clark is the the turning key as to how we're gonna see the NBA sh or the WNBA shift? Because I mean, if her jersey's already selling out and people not solely, are, but she is the biggest draw, probably. Well, yeah. I mean, I haven't seen any other person be the reasons for tickets quadrupling in price. Angel Reese is a yeah, like, it's, it's, it's a she's big pretty draft good. Class. Juju's big. She was number seven. It was a top she, 10 draft pick. She yeah. was number we seven. We thought she was going to be top five. She Me was too. number seven, Angel but she's number seven. But like, if we're just talking about popularity, she's number yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But if so you a know lot of people started watching because yeah, of her. For sure. But do you think that she has pick, the same effect on the no. WNBA that Caitlin Clark no. had? No, no. Caitlin. No, but yeah. she does But she does contribute to it. Yeah. She's up there. It's not just Caitlin solely. Like, there's other... We were talking about Juju. We were talking about Paige. Juju wasn't a part of the draft. I'm talking about the WNBA Okay, I'm generalizing it. I don't think that Angel Reese is... And that's not to knock her. I don't think she's generating... Flaugier got songs with Lil Wayne. Like Man, next. I don't think she's generating... As much Fishing teeth is crazy. <laughs> like, what are we what are we talking about here? We're talking about women's basketball for sure. But I don't. Okay, she's on with Lil Wayne. Okay, I'm talking about her on the court. Like, I don't. Okay, okay. I don't know. We're talking about pop culture and everything and Dave too. Miller like the has way a that song. Okay. Yeah, and the way that and the reason like Metal basketball and the reason NBA and all that is so like there's more than just the game. Like people want to see you sitting courtside and there's pop culture that okay. intersects with it. Basketball yeah. in like like what are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. NBA I mean, memes. She's okay. number one, but it helped that one. The it also helped that she was in the finals facing Angel Reese. Before. Yes, right, right. They had right. a little Larry Bird, Magic Johnson thing going on. You know what I mean? And also, <laughs> like, helped. which is like stupid. It's like she is the biggest person. That's why she's on SNL. Like they're not right. Like Jokic doesn't have like a shop. 
like yeah. you know oh, where like we how watch people were mad that they, yeah that like they're inviting her and not yeah. Angel Reese because mm-hmm. not it is a or not um who, who who lost again uh, I mean who won who South won Carolina the, UConn USC UConn. mad that USC didn't, didn't yeah the get US, invited to USC like or that. UConn USC USC won UConn was oh, in the final UConn, yeah yeah you're right yeah but I mean. But yeah, if you're asking if I if we think this is an inflection point yeah. for the WNBA. I hope so. Yeah, because even really people so. complaining about the the salaries, they're just in their like 1970s NBA era, mm. right? When niggas were like plumbers on the side and shit. Mm. Oh yeah, right. And so that happened. Mm-hmm. That's when the dub, That's when the NBA was like 20, 30 years old. Mm-hmm. Right. The dumb, the WNBA is 20, 30 years old. It's okay. just it's they're just, just, just its turning mm. point. They're just at that point right now. Right. No, you're and right. you know what I mean. Okay. And, you know, That's we, a good way to put it. There are there are people that say, "Oh, you know what I mean? Pay them I, more. I, I I'm getting paid more than Caitlyn Clark." No, you're not. Caitlyn Clark is still getting the same because she still has brand but she's, sponsorship. The brands are gonna she, rack yeah, her the, shit yeah. up ridiculous. She's still, That's where she, they're getting their bread. She's still getting as much bread just with a hundred thousand more dollars. That's it. Yeah, yeah. No, you're you right. Know, I mean, so. she was decked out. It was a she was decked out in Prada. Apparently, that was she was the first WNBA player. I'm like, oh, what boy, they got the LeBron that? ESPN the stats dumbass, for her. Eh? Dumbass yeah. stat. First WNBA player to wear Prada outfit. I was like, okay. Yeah. What? And they should do that. Like that's like <laughs> some dumbass yeah. shit like that. Some of those girls are looking good. It's a show, oh, like God, basketball. Like God, they do this show. with they walk <laughs> them like when they're walking into the arena off the bus and everything. Like there's so many theatrics that go into the broadcast. And production of basketball that are the NBA doesn't have a, to do with actual yeah, sport, you know. It so it's like if this is happening for the W and you know all the uh, women. The basketball. W, yeah, yeah. yeah well, you know, w. You're already getting used yeah, to. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. I'm <laughs> trying to do my the W. That's what we're calling. Yeah, Yo, you watch for real this summer, though. I am. I want to. All right. I have intentions. To. All right. You better, bro. Right. Are you right. walking? The, you the watching this house? summer? I, I you watch, watching the WNBA this summer? I haven't summer? watched basketball since no, the bubble. No, no, answer my question. No. no. You watching I'll the watch. Yeah, yeah, I'll watch. Right. Yeah, I don't care it's about Toronto sport. getting a team. Is that a sports like that in general? That's They're that's deciding that. between like Toronto, Philly, and a few other cities. Where Toronto needs one, team. though. MLSC is like just one. being cheap. Yeah. Th- yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. Because I feel yeah. like we'd, we'd support. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, last and quickly, do we think Kaisen not paid for pussy? Yes or no? Yep. Yeah. And he did that shit. I don't know why so like. Do we think Shorty Wildin? No. Yes. No. What? <laughs> why is My he, nigga. Why is, he, why is she not wilding? Because you should have paid her, her her hush money. Bro, when you're dealing with the, oh, those gal, happened? yeah, when you're dealing with those gal, you think they're, you th- yo, they're serious. This is a business. It was hush money? Yeah. yeah. That, was, that was her so, MDA money. Yeah. And Basi- he didn't pay her. Well, she was saying, oh, well, she had, obviously she had pictures of a homie like, you know when like you fucking nigga so good, he just sprawls out, dick out. She had pictures Gosh. with him. <laughs> <laughs> She had pictures of him yeah. with like he's like on his back, dick out type. But she put like an emoji <laughs> over it. Okay. But I guess he didn't pay her. She's like, okay, yeah, if you, you know, whatever, whatever, you got to pay me X amount. Apparently, he didn't pay her. She's like, oh, you think I'm pussy? <laughs> and that's I'm pussy. Yeah. No, you she, pay for pussy. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> people said five k is a lot. Listen, I'm not gonna put a price point on anyone's coochie. If you think your coochie's worth five k, sell it, it for five k. Clearly, he. He cash out. He paid ten it. already. But people are like, "Oh, he showed his cash app, and it wasn't the same date. He showed a different date than what she's claiming." Mm-hmm. So he did pay the hush money. No, he he paid for the pussy. <sighs> he didn't pay the NDA money. <laughs> There's a different tax. So it's that, two different fees. It's a different fee. Yeah. That's that's yeah. extortion at that point. Low key, <laughs> just low, key. just let yeah. yeah, let the picture. But that five be. bands is like what? It's not, it's, I'm sorry, like yeah, if you have if you have ten bands to pay for pussy, you got five bands to tell her shut the hell up, bro. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, like, come I, yeah, on. Yeah. Apparently, he's supposed to pay her like X amount, and so you pay for the coochie and then X amount for hush money. Hush money. I feel like that's like the the thing in the industry. I don't sell my coochie, so I wouldn't know how that works. <laughs> you know, like when that girl, that, I, I would have no paying, idea what I'm doing correctly. Mans are paying like uh, um these these girls a hundred k to get abortions and shit and oh, to shut God. up. God. I mean, it happens. Yeah, it does happen. Yeah. Kai needs to, and I'm sure it happens way more than mm-hmm. we think it does. Everyone's like, "Why would he buy for pussy? Not Kai, so not." And I'm like, "God, well, he, he like, just needs to do it better. He needs to." He's buy young, it. though. He's young. He's, he's like, young. He's young, and he's rich. He's gonna do very dumb shit. Yeah, he's young and he's rich, and he's never like had to chop girls without it. I like yeah. it. but he he has to learn. To just pay for professional escorts, Kai. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. You think she's unprofessional? It, these Instagram yeah, she's t- t- <laughs> getting getting her unprofessional in her career. Instagram. Like, yeah. bro, what do you expect? She's wildin' though. I'm not gonna lie, she's wildin'. She is wildin'. But she's I mean, wildin'. hey, get what you pay for. If you want some, like, the, the, the escorts, these men are paying 50k for pussy. It's true. Don't, and don't, I haven't heard a word from those girlies. That's true. 
Yeah, I'm right. sure the girls who are paying and getting paid much more are zip locked mouth. Don't speak. Have ever. some AliExpress pussy, bro. They like, ask for Kai Sinat. They say who? <laughs> they girl, don't know. The girl got the Mac got the Sheen prostitute. Maybe like, 5K is cheap. It is. If you're if you're fucking a millionaire. Think, you know how there's like prostitutes. You know the scene from Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where they're breaking down the the pussy nomics. Oh. Yeah. 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 Just the blue sheet ones, just the pink sheets. <laughs> like, like. Yeah. So my th- maybe 5K is like the lower end. You know how there's prostitution, then there's escorting? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think the 5K is still prostituting. Yeah. yeah We're I still mean, in the prostitution. Yeah. But we got to pay maybe like five figures to get into the escort range. Forgive my, what, what is the difference between? like I, One is just fancy. Yeah. Okay. Escort is just a more expensive you know prostitute, sex worker, a you? little bit more classy. You know, like okay. a 50 cent you know, sex worker? You can maybe like bring her on your arm to a certain event, but like you're paying. Like Diddy and Carisha. Oh, Car- Young Miami. Well, Carisha. Cassie. You th- what? Not Cass- you think Carisha? Carisha was an escort. She's a little sex worker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you little, little sex worker. Little sex worker. Little sex worker. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty Cent is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He's a sick. I'm sorry, but yeah, maybe He's... Carisha was like an escort. For yeah, Diddy. that's like a proper like. She's, okay. She was getting. She got her TV show. Like that's a yeah. yeah. yeah that's so. different. But she was just like the sheen of escorts, bro. The man that the man pulled up. Yeah. No, she was a prostitute. Yeah. Because escorts are like what you call them prostitutes. Remember that. Mm. They don't like that. They don't like that term. They still sell them pussy, but they, they, they're selling experience, not yeah, pussy. Yeah, yeah. There you <laughs> go. Experience. experience. You know, Tell me you, lies, make it sound good. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they might, they might, make, they might like slip a little, I love you, babe. Yeah, you there. can take them out in public. Yeah. They're classy. They look them good. Bid. Yeah, they bid. <laughs> Okay, don't say prostitutes don't bid. They bid, but they bid. <laughs> Niggas Prostitutes are egregious, babe. man. They bathe, but these girls beard. <laughs> you know? Like, the, yeah, they clean, clean. I'm a slut shaming, by the way. I love all the hoes. Shout out them. <laughs> I love all the hoes. You're just saying this love hoes. I love the hoes. But I'm trying to say, like, from a point of view, like, in the, the sex pussynomics, there's, like, the escorts, just, like, you know? But then there's, the, like, the top-tier ones who... Literally the two thousand dollars for a gym a month. Mm. Um, they're not. It's not like a one night thing. It's like fake relationships, like the yachting girls, and that's a whole other rabbit hole. But yeah, Who like there's a, there's different levels of escorting. Hey yeah. man, there's a. But if you're a millionaire, brother, you if you want the the quietness, you need to you have you gotta to go to yeah, you, you have go to, to hit the six figure yeah. girls. There's a specific escort in Toronto who goes to my gym. I was like, okay, girl. Where, well, I know her face. Like, oh. I've seen her face before. People are like, oh, yeah, she's an escort. But she goes to my gym now. I saw the other day, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, they, they, it's an investment. Like, their whole investment yeah. up there. I'm not, my thing. gym is really not that. I mean, it's a nice gym. It's, a, it's not it's a expensive. planet fitness. It's, it's, it's expensive. It's not expensive. It's not like Lifetime. Lifetime is expensive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lifetime is, oh, I'm not paying Lifetime prices. Respect. And, and sweat and tonic, too. That's a really expensive gym. Yeah, but. Clearly, I guess. But yeah. Anyways, pay the gal them their money, bro. She gave you the she gave you the whole. She said, "Look up five k." And she, they're not gonna, No one's gonna sue nobody. I don't because think it's prostitution's to illegal in America. So what, what, I don't think it's going. How to are you that. gonna sue her when she has proof? Yeah, and like I said, the proof that he showed the day he showed dates from last year. She's saying, "No, you paid me the five k." Like showed the twenty twenty four transactions. Mm-hmm. He was showing twenty twenty three transactions. So, what oh, is he even saying? Though. Yeah, he's, she's Damn. saying it's from like April, like. A couple weeks ago. Oh, the man went from Jamaica, to bought some pussy and went to Jamaica. That's crazy. I don't think she, no, she's from Atlanta, that girl, I think. No, but no, Shannon's saying, saying he should have bought oh, some over no, there. He, no, I'm saying in April. If you're saying in April, that means we bought pussy and hop on the plane next oh, maybe, day maybe, to Jamaica. Maybe. That's crazy. Maybe. Anyways, last thoughts? Shout out everybody. <laughs> <laughs> drop. 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 Okay. Yeah. We'll see you guys next week. Oh, wait, we didn't talk. Oh, just, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a little yeah, different. The, the gunshots have Zoe jumping yeah, the whole episode. No? Okay. No, thanks. Okay. I was going to say, we didn't tell people we were moving.